again, giving all praises to your help by sending out chat by sending out the dash. We're going to go right into it. You got anything? No. 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 Uh, anyway, um, let's see what we're going to go into. Um, I'm going to go back into the list. Okay. See where the spirit leads us from there. Well, we, we, we did a video on uh, so-called Christmas. Today is so-called Christmas. And if you want to say a few words on it. Yeah, you know. uh, basically, um, you know, those of you that might have saw the video, Elder Bastard did, he did some research on uh, uh, Christmas being uh, the worship of Saturnalia, or the feast of uh, Saturnalia. Now, I remember years ago, we saw a video with uh, Jordan Maxwell, and he brought, <laughs> out, he brought out about the planet Saturn, who was also known as the Black Planet. Saturn goes back to Satan. So Saturnalia, or the worship of Saturnalia, is really the worship of Satan. So so-called Christmas goes back to the worship of Saturnalia, which goes back to the worship of Satan. So if you keep in so-called Christmas, or you believe in it, really you, you believe in Satan. Okay? You believe in Satan. And uh, Christmas, when you break down the word, it literally means death of the anointed. Chris, uh, Chris goes back to Christ, which in Greek is Christos, which means anointed. That's the Greek way of saying anointed. Mass means death. When you look up the word, it means death. So put it together. Death of the anointed. So, yeah, when you put a so-called Christmas tree in your house, you got to go back to the origin of that, and that's pagan. That has nothing to do with the Messiah being born. Yep. <clears throat> That has nothing to do with anything that has to do with the scriptures. That's right. all a pagan uh, uh, rite, pagan ritual, man. But then at the same time, you call yourself a Christian, you know? Yeah, that's right. When it, when now when uh, you go to Jeremiah, the reason why we did the, the videos was uh, I did the video based upon another brother doing the video and caused y'all to do videos because the guy said. He read out of uh, Jeremiah 10 and said that has nothing to do with paganism, no scholar. Well, first of all, those scholars don't know nothing, man. Exactly. You don't know, you don't understand the spiritual part, the spiritual aspect of, yep. of the scriptures, man. All right? Hey, even David Guzik said that that it's not it's not uh, it's not the Christmas thing. Right. He, he's, right. he's saying that it, that that um, the Christmas tree has nothing to do with Jeremiah 10. Oh, he said uh, David that? David Guzik, yeah. Well, let them. That's why we don't recognize them clowns, man. Yep. And that's why we know that the Most High is not dealing with y'all, man. That goes back to pagan beginnings, man. That's it. Exactly. It goes back to pagan beginnings. Yep. Yeah, there's no scripture where the Lord said that we're to put a tree in our house and decorate the tree and celebrate that day. There's no scripture. Furthermore, our Lord was not born on 25th of December. According to uh, so-called Christmas, that's the birthday of the Lord, right? That's what they, that's what they say, right? The Lord was not born on the 25th of December. The Lord was born during the springtime, during the Passover. And that's called adding to the scriptures. So, hey, when you go in the word, we're going to deal with the word Easter. Easter Easter has pagan origins, man. Easter has nothing to do with the, the Lord. Matter of fact, let's go to, go to that. Uh, okay. Acts, uh, 12, Acts 12. 12. Yep. Yeah. the book of Acts <coughs> the book of Acts 12 and 4 it says and when and when he had apprehended him he put him in prison and delivered him to four quarter four four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intended after Easter to bring him forth to the people yeah, that was uh, James, uh, which was the brother of uh, John, one of the uh, twelve. He was the first of the apostles that got put to death. Is there more to that? Go ahead, uh, read on. Did you read the part containing after Easter? Yeah, I'll read it read, again. Read it again. 
Acts 12 and 4. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. I think, uh, as you read on, it says uh, Peter, it was Peter. Because the next verse says, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Oh yeah, the first verse goes into James, then he, yeah. he, he got James, he killed, he killed James, James yeah. and he's going to imprison Peter. Peter, yeah. So that word Easter, now when you go to the blue letter, go to the blue letter. Got it right here. Yeah, because James, now this James, that was the brother of John, which was the uh, favorite disciple that Yahweh Shai loved. There was two James. You had the James, uh, Esau calls him James the Greater. That was the brother of John. Then you had James, Esau calls him James the Less. That was Yahweh Shai's biological brother, who wrote the book of James. Also, he had another biological brother, Jew. He wrote the book of Jew. You got it. All right, so the word there for Easter is Pascha. Pascha, which goes back to the root word Pesach, which is the Passover. Yes, so the actual word right there is uh, Passover, intending after the Passover to do what he was going to do. It's so a, now when you go, is it saying anything about pagan origins in, in there in the blue letter? Uh, <laughs> no. Well, go to Easter, or go, go to Google, or DuckDuckGo, and put in uh, pagan origins in Easter. I think it, uh, I believe it goes back to Ishtar. Yes, it does, it does. But, uh, Ishtar was the so-called Babylonian goddess. Yep, yep, yep. Really, that's Sipper Rabbis. Right. <clears throat> Tabus, weeping to our taboos. <clears throat> I got a scripture before you bring that so up. So all your, all your uh, so-called high holy days here in America and around the world are based upon pagan deities, which are nothing but demons and devils. Yeah. This is the book of Psalm 96 and 5. It says, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. And uh, Saturnalia is just another so-called god that they worship. Um, like I said, if you watch Elder Pastor's video, it kind of goes into that history. I think it was the god of agriculture. Uh, uh, the Saturnalian god was the god of agriculture. So there's the scripture, Psalm 96 and 5. The gods of the nations are idols. Yeah. All right. Easter may have started out as a sex ritual, and here's why. Uh, did you ever wonder what eggs have to do with Easter? Where did I, where did the idea for the Easter bunny come from? Anyway, <clears throat> perhaps you've never stopped to think about what eggs on Easter bunny, on the Easter bunny, have to do with each other. After all, rabbits don't lay, don't even lay eggs. It's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Decorating eggs, eggs, passing them out as gifts, hunting for them, paying homage to a strange rabbit. What does any of, <laughs> of it have to do with the resurrection of, they say, Jesus Christ, but you know, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah. It said, the short answer is nothing. It all goes back to ancient pagan tradition. Easter first started out as a celebration of the spring equinox, a time when all of nature is awakened from the slumber of winter and the cycle of renewal begins. Yeah, you had the spring equinox, and you also had, <clears throat> about six months before that, you had the uh, summer, I mean, uh, the winter solstice, which goes into the god Saturnalian, which goes back to Saturn, all right? It says, Anglo-Saxon pagans celebrated this time of rebirth. That's where America got the whole Easter thing and the uh, Christmas thing. They got it from Germany, Victoria, England. That's all these that, that's all these devils did in America. They yep. got their culture from the European culture, man, because they were Europeans, which are Edomites. Yep. Anglo Saxon pagans celebrated this time of rebirth by invoking Ulster or Ostara, uh, the goddess of spring, the dawn and fertility. Which is pagan. So you Christians are really not Christian. You're a bunch of damn pagans, man. I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of Mark 7 and 6. He answered and said unto them, Well have Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. Mm. 
as it is written, the people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Yeah, Christmas is a commandment of men. Pagan uh, ritual. Easter is a commandment of men. The Roman Catholic institution is nothing but they worship in honor of uh, the Canaanite gods, the god, the gods of uh, Dagon. Dagon, right? Which is a Canaanite deity. Yep. All right. Yeah, many different so-called gods that they worship. And uh, by the way, that's the main infraction of the Ten Commandments, which is more than Ten Commandments. But the very first commandment is what? I am the Lord thy power, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So if you worship in these rituals, you're putting another god, you're putting another this god before you, how about Shimei Al Shai? the corner, they hope. Because the Japanese this one, they don't have me. I mean, you know, for later. So that, that place is closed? No, they open too. Oh, okay, they open. You might have to eat from them. Yeah, but it's Jack. Big ass chicken. They got the um, the jazz right next to them. They open, you know, the, okay. you know, like the, you know, the same shit how you used to bring us the Japanese spot back in the oh, day, okay, like okay. that, something like that. It might not be. Yeah. Yeah, mine. Yeah, you know, just laying down. Um, this uh, I got a quick precept. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Uh, Judges two and twelve, and they forsook the Lord power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. Yeah, so if you worship it like today, the so-called Christmas, if you worship in Christmas, you believe in Christmas, in reality, you worship in another God. And uh, you, you, you're bringing down the wrath of the heavenly, especially in these times. You're bringing down the wrath of the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. So the Lord's not coming, the Lord's not coming for any Christians, man. He's coming to kill you. He's coming, he, come in, he come in the spirit of uh, Alex Shashi <laughs> on your ass. Yeah. Why do you think so many homes burn down during so-called <laughs> Christmas? Oh, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and uh, what about 25th, 26th verse? Con, can, can you grab that real quick? Because it's a curse. Deuteronomy yeah. 7, 24, But they don't listen, Deuteronomy man. 25. They don't listen. It says, and they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Baal and Ashtoreth. And uh, these so -called... also hold, I'm sorry, also <laughs> hold Ezekiel 8. And let me just say this here, man. <laughs> let me say this. Let me say a little bit of this. And okay. look, here it is so called Christmas, right? We still out here, man. Right. On so called Christmas Day. Some of you out there. Some of you guys are secretly opening yeah. up fucking gifts. Yeah, yep. opening presents with your woman. With fringes on them. With your, with your bunny slippers on. <laughs> with a cup of hot cocoa. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Bing Crosby. Oh shit. And uh, Nat King Cole. Oh, Jake Lord. is full of it, man. fake Yeah. Um most of your kid of the Israelite camp, you huh, you you took the winter walk. Yeah. This is the winter. We ain't going out. Yep. We're seasonal Israelites. Yep. Um, yeah, I was gonna say uh you heard Somebody keep keep talking. Yep. Somebody give me Isaiah 65. You know what I want. You heard the passage your brother read, uh, Apostle Ramna read. Uh, Baal and what was the other Ashtoreth. one? Ashtoreth. Now they appear as many forms. They appear in different forms. Like Ashtoreth is really Ishtar. But they accept it yep. because they'll take so called Jesus. Right. Yep. And slide you, it in you, there. Here you got uh, you, here you got the sun god Ra here. But they put Jesus right in front of it, man. Right, which goes back to Tammuz. Which goes back to Tammuz. I got a quick the, 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 <laughs> oh, That whole virgin shit, they say it's scriptural. No, it's not scriptural. Yeah. It's not. They had to keep that lie going about Semiramis and uh, Tammuz, man. That's why when um, um, <laughs> uh, this guy, Sarnetta and uh, Polite rolled up, the first thing they talked about was, you know, the virgin birth thing. So we don't teach that, and then that kind of just cut them. You know, they they had nowhere else to go with it. Yeah, we don't teach that shit. Yeah, because that's there, there was no virgin birth. Right. Our Lord's uh, father was uh, Joseph, the biological father of the Lord. That's right. And he was not born on December twenty fifth. Absolutely not. Uh, this is a book of oh, and another thing, I was watching this show on CNN. They had all this stuff about Jerusalem, and they were going into King David. Then they said, Well, King David died, and they were all crackers. 
big nose cracks. Dang. But then they had Solomon standing there looking like a looking like a battalion. And they said, well, he he didn't have the charisma that his father had. And he really hated it. And I'm looking, I'm saying, what the fuck are these devils talking about? Wow. Man? And wow. I see why the both sides gonna exterminate you devils. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Seeing the hating instructions. Yeah, that's casting it. my that's words it. behind that's, you. That's you gonna be wiped out, man. Now, after that, you know, I was kinda half sleep. Then they were going into uh uh, damn, what did they go into? They went into the, the Messiah, so to speak. And then they were going into uh, his death and him raising Miriam. And then they had Miriam look like a Puerto Rican chick. But then Peter and John, and then they ran. It said that they ran. They just ran about about a hundred, about a yard. And they made it look like they were racing. And, shit. <laughs> and uh, they opened the tomb and all that. But they said, yes. And she came on the first day of the week. Now the Christians teach that the first day of the week is what? Sunday, Sunday right? Yep. According to the Christians, what, what day did the, the Messiah die? Good Friday, right? On a Friday, right? Yeah. Good Friday, right? <laughs> How the fuck are you going to get Friday, A, B, C? Yep. How the hell are you going to get Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you got Friday, Friday, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. Right, that's the second day. That's only day. two days. Yeah, yeah. That's two days. Yeah. And he spent three 24-hour days. Go, 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 Google it. Yeah, Say, fine. when was the Lord crucified? Yeah. yeah. What day was the Lord crucified? Yeah, the, the, the prophecy tells us he spent three 24-hour days in the grave. A full day, three full days. A full days. day is 20, 24 hours. 24 hours. It says, uh, Jesus, baby, Jesus. Jesus, baby, Jesus. As described in the New Testament, was most likely crucified on Friday, April 3, 33 AD. Okay, so he, he was crucified on the Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD. I know Domini, right? Right? Are we all uh, are we all on the same page? Yep, that's what they're saying. That is Friday, that's what according to the New Testament, right? Which Friday is not even nowhere written in the New Testament. Exactly. Right? If you go in the blue letter and you write in this word search, you put in Friday in New Testament, it ain't coming up in the New Testament, in the Old Testament, and the Apocrypha, nope. it ain't coming up, man. And the Josephus, none of them books. Josephus. Well, speaking of other gods, by the way, even the days of the week yeah. are named after what? Other gods that... Pagan gods. Pagan gods, like Monday, named after the moon god. You know, Saturday, named after Saturday. Saturday, Saturnalia. Saturday, 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 Sunday, right. named right. after the sun god. Yep, yep, Rock. that's right. The sun god Ra. So you Christians are really pagans. You, you, you're just pagans. That's all you are, a bunch of damn pagans. And the most high is not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. Now, go to Google and put down what day did the Jesus baby Jesus rise. <laughs> what day did and somebody hold up? Uh, Second Corinthians 10 and 4. I get that. What day did Jesus' baby rise? That's another thing, too. His name is not Jesus. The letter J. We no, wait a minute. Well, then, then IUIC don't get managed. Yeah. And you know, the GOCC. Yeah, this is a factor. You can look it up. The letter J didn't come about until Ooh. 1524. The guy who, uh, who uh, brought it about was uh, John Trusino. John Trusino. And that was 1524. That was, was uh, re call a, a, re a Renaissance alphabet. Renaissance alphabet. Renaissance no, there's J. no J. That's why Spanish people, when they call on Jesus, they don't say Jesus, they right. say Jesus. 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 Yeah. It was an extension of the letter I. Jota. J. Jota. Jota. Which is pretty, I guess it's like Yota. Like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, jet, not, uh, jot. Right. Jot, Jota come from the, from the smallest character in the Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you got to learn the Hebrew. Yes, I'm yes, going to go to more uh, shows, most I would, on the Hebrew, on the Greek, on maps. Yeah. This says a uh, question. On I what? did that show on the maps. I didn't think it was all that. But then I'm, I kind of looked. Yeah, I said, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of information, info. man. And it builds your faith. Con. All those places existed. So you mean to tell me somebody wrote this fictitious Bible Okay, let me make a story behind this. This is Egypt, so let me write a story about Moses. 
And this is the wilderness of sin. And this is the Red Sea. Come on, man. This, when you read, when you get into these studies, it builds your faith up, man. That's it. Your knowledge, your faith, your understanding. Oh, it also makes you stable. Faith comes by hearing. A lot of these guys gonna bug out, man. It makes you stable. What did the scripture say? It says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And that's why certain guys took the, the, the vax. The guy, the guy in uh, IUIC, he went ahead and took the vax because yeah. he didn't want to lose a job, yep. you know? But wait a minute, why didn't the leadership tell him, look, don't take it? Now, obviously, he didn't tell him, tell him to take it. Right. And he didn't ask. Then he took it. <laughs> Then he said, I felt like my faith left me. Well, guess what, brother? Your faith did leave you, man, because you know what's in you now? Uh, uh, hydro uh, vulgaris. Mm. You know, if you take that hydro vulgaris that's in the movie uh, uh, The Matrix, when they pulled it out of him, out of his belly, right. that's the same, same thing. Same shit, if you take that motherfucker and put it in a blender and mix it up and throw it down, do you know them pieces come back together and form? Like you the, can't kill him. Like the Terminator. Exactly. Remember exactly. they blew the dude apart? Yeah, that, that, and then he would all come back it, together? That's it. That's it. Hey, there's that's a new movie out by Vin Diesel. It's called Blood Something. Something like that. And he's made up of that stuff. You oh, know, wow. so like, because they showed a scene where they were scraping his face yeah. on, on the side of a building while, while the elevator was going on. His face was coming apart, but then it was coming back together. It was that stuff that they had put in him. Like a hydra. Yeah. Um, there's a... Uh, there's a video on YouTube, I forgot, that I was watching it, I think yesterday, and the dude said, uh, he said, yeah, they've been doing tests on, uh, you might have seen it, they've been doing tests on the, you know, the, the V, uh, going back to what, the 80s, 90s, hmm. they've been doing tests on how they can, uh, right, how right. they can, uh, uh, I believe I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he brought it out, he said, so why the hell would you want to take this thing, and then when he was bringing out that information, all I could think about was Psalm the 64th chapter, where it says they accomplish a diligent search. What do you think that means? He saw got his witches out here testing shit. And, and their main thing is control. And also to destroy you from believing in your how washing out shot. Like you took that vax, well that not, not the vax, you took that uh, yeah, you took that vax. Um, that destroys your God gene. Isn't that what Esau trying to do? Even if you take that test, you know, yeah. that, that thing stuck up your nose, man, that, those, that if you hit certain notes or sounds, sound waves, those things move. Fibers. Fibers move. That's a living entity, and it's inside you. Oh, well, that's like what alien. That was, that's Something going to pop out your motherfucking chest, bro. <laughs> that was, uh, that's what that movie was about with John, uh, John really, Cusack. Real talk. I think we saw it. Oh, did we go to see John the cell, Cusack? I mean, the cell. The cell. cell. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. on. That's on. That's on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. It's on YouTube. Yep, the cell. Yep. Um, this is a question. Oh, they what? activated them to kill each other and all that. These zombies, was they had because this guy Cus Cusack was no talent. Oh man, that's that's no he, he couldn't find a. He couldn't. He couldn't find nothing to plug to plug it in. So his phone was dead. But everybody else, they hit that note. And all of a sudden, that was the, all of a sudden, they started killing each other, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think his son took took the whatever, whatever it was. His son took it. His son in the movie. Took it. He became a zombie. Then Cusack himself became a zombie. Zombie. You got it. So it says, question: On what day did the Messiah rise from the dead? Answer: The Messiah rose from the dead, glorious and immortal, on Easter Sunday. The third day after his death. How can you get Friday and Sunday? Friday I tell and Saturday. you, I tell you, look. I'm gonna. I tell. I tell my wife or whatever. Oh, baby, I'm going. I'll be back in three days. You leave on a Friday. You come back on the damn Sunday. She might have a fucking doom popping her, popping her ass a couple of times. Right. And then she said, you said you'll come back Sunday. No, I said I'm coming back in three days. Right. Yeah. You can't get Friday to sundown. You can't get you can't get Friday, Friday to Saturday. To, to Saturday to Sunday. Right. You cannot get three days. That's right. two days. That's only two days. Right. Yep. Friday. 24 hours later at 12 noon, it's Saturday. Right. Alright? 24 hours later at 12 noon, 
It's Sunday. Sunday. It's only two days. That's only two days. Yep. You can't count. That's that's only two days. Vocab alone. That's only two. And we're going to fuck with you tonight, man. Two days. How the hell you get three days out of Friday right. to, to, to Sunday? And that's when the Sabbath falls in. That's what James, whatever man, James White said. Oh, Lord. You know how much I said? And, and uh, he said, uh, destroy this temple and, I, and he will rebuild it. Three in three days. days. Not two days. Not two days. So sons wrong with their math. Because they don't study. They don't think. They don't use the their boss brain. Math means truth. Math means truth. I'm so not. I'm not. Y'all didn't know that. You yes. Christians didn't know that. Give me uh, awesome. uh what I say? Yeah. No. Give me uh Second Corinthians yep, uh, I got it. ten verse four. I got a cue up. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most side to the pulling down of strongholds. What are your strongholds? One major stronghold is Jesus Christ, the so-called white man. Right. So when we go into the scriptures in Revelation 1, 13 to 15, oh no, the white, the white missing means he was a white man. No, it wasn't a white man because white being white is leper to have the suffering from the disease called leprosy. Yeah. So, so ain't the Lord ain't gonna send the, the, our Lord glorified body down in a leprous fucking body. Right. Right. It, don't make no sense. Sense. it don't make no damn sense. For, furthermore, you're not white. So-called white people are not white. They're you're red. red. Right. And you're you red. wanna say you're white? Really, you're red. You're different shades of red. Right. And your, and your biblical nationality is your Edomites. Edomites. The word Edom means red. Either one means red. Yeah. That's it. So you the Edomites. Right. You say white, and they brought that out in the movie X. You say white because white, when you look up the definition, it means not intended to harm, pure. Right. And that's not you so. You that Edomites doesn't fit are not you pure. at all. That doesn't that, fit you at all. All you did was rape, rob, and murder the whole yeah. earth. Yep. And then you call us black because you look up the word black, it means negative. Void of light. They showed you that in the movie X. It's a play on words. And, and that's another thing too. When we bring out this truth, we're just, like it says in uh, Isaiah 25 and 7, <coughs> the, the scriptures say the Heavenly Father will destroy the covering cast over all people. Mm -hmm. That's part of the covering cast. This These false In this mountain. These false names that you people are going under. White, black, and then you say yellow. It's so-called Chinese and yellow. Right. You're not yellow. Look at what are you talking about? The dragon was released after a period of a thousand years to deceive the earth deceive again. Girl, this, deceive the whole world. Oh, and, the, and his last deception is the uh, the Karagma. The last deception is the Karagma. Right. That's the last deception. You got so-called Chinese that are darker than me, man. What are you talking about? They're yellow. That's the yellow race. These are all lies that's going to be destroyed by the yo have booming back bullshit, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. No such thing as yellow people. If you see, if you look at pictures of right. of old China, so-called Chinese going back to what the 1800s, they, they were very dark. They right. were they, they were dark-skinned people. The 1800s and 1700s, they were dark-skinned people. All those nations were dark-skinned people. That's why you equate us to being African. Well, Africans are not the only dark people, like you said. Right. The Ammonites, the Moabites, yep. the Ishmaelites. Elamites. The Elamites, they're all dark skinned people, man. Uh, Japheth. Japheth, yeah. all dark. The freak of the earth are you Elamites. Right, you came yeah. out with a uh, lack of, uh, uh, Mel a lack of uh, Mel melanin in your right. skin. And keep reading that. Uh, okay. if, if I may say, the, re the reason why we're, they were dark skinned people is very simple. We came out of the earth. We came out of the dust of the earth. Right. If you look up the deep, rich soil of the earth, what color is it going to be? Very dark brown. Right, yeah. That's where we came out of. Yeah. Got it, yeah, like Esau got this thing calling. Well, you got the white, you have the white sands, but ain't, ain't no such thing as the white. Sand. You know, they got that yeah. shit. Well, you yeah. wait, wait a minute, you got beaches that got white sand. Well, what the hell's growing out of it? There's no, no life there ain't in no sand. white sand. There's no, yeah. li there's no yeah. life in sand. That's not soil. Yeah. Sand but and sun, soil is still a fucking apple, but even apple that tree. Yeah. Try to grow an apple tree on a fucking sandy beach. It ain't yeah. gonna happen. No nutrients in it. No nutrients. Now, what Gad told Esau was they took fish yep. and they put it in there and it gave it nutrients. Right. You crackers didn't even know how to do that. Bastards. Second Corinthians. That's why the most I going to take you out the frame. Yeah. He's going to rip you out the frame. Snatch you out the frame, man. Yep. Yep. That's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. Isaiah 63 and 1. 
who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? Why was his garments dyed? You know what the dye represents? Blood! The blood that Yahweh is going to shed of you, when he of you Edomites when he comes back in those chariots. Right. How are you going to take you out? All the prophets saw it, and some of them, they got sick when mm. they saw the destruction the Lord is coming with, man. Dan, I think it was Daniel, he got sick. Habakkuk got sick. Yeah, because it was, it was graphic, man. It was, a, it was a graphic movie. Why do you think we're out here? As it is written, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's an ex example of knowing the terror of the Lord, how the Lord's going to get down when he comes back. Good. All right, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most side to the pulling down of strongholds. Pulling the strongholds. The Religion. first stronghold hold when you came about in Revelation, you mentioned Revelation 20 about to deceive the world. Yeah. All right. The last is deception is you being, you, you people right now are being deceived by this thing yep. concerning your health, yep. you know? But um, back then, we're talking about the end of the 1300s, going into the 1400s, 1450, 1453, all the way up to the, until uh, Columbus went to the other side of the world. <laughs> That's when you devils were loose. You weren't loose in one day and just deceived everybody. It took years. Yeah. Yep. It took certain characters, man. You know? Yeah, to uh, break, uh, destroy the images. Paintings. Right, that took years. That's a thing called iconoplasm. Somebody look up the word iconoplasm. You got that, son? Yep. I got yeah, a quick precept. All your, 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 your so-called, uh, you call them uh, explorers, they were really all, uh, they were set up to bring part of that deception. The so-called explorers, like Pizarro, Hernando Cortez, and, those guys were set up to be part of that deception. You got it. Um, this is a Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Mm. You guys. Okay. I, the, uh, the word iconoplasm, the definition, the action of attacking or assertively rejecting cherished beliefs and institutions or established values and practices. Right. So. That's talking about what we had. We had they they painted images of the of the Lord, of the angels, of the saints, all over the place. So the first one of the first thing that Esau did was was a thing called iconoplasm. Icon means the icons and pictures. All right, Clism means to destroy. All right. So what they did was they went around and they tore down certain images, but some of them they left up. But they chopped the noses off, off of them. There was a reason why, if you go to like museums like the uh, Met, and you go to like the European section, those busts of those different kings and different rulers, their noses were chopped off. Why were their noses chopped off? Because they have bl so-called black-looking noses, man. All right. What was it the four tetrarchs? What they called? Yeah, the four tetrarchs. Yeah. Matter of fact, go to that. Go to that. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, so you might say, well, that's over you still a period got of time. Right? Their so nose fell off. Yeah, their so fingers didn't fall off. Yeah, you got their fingers it. like this. I was just right. Why can't their fingers fall that's off? That's just yeah. what I was going to say. You know? <laughs> their ears didn't fall off. The some didn't some fall of them had yeah. big ears. They must have had the Master 19. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Not because see. they had flared noses. So everybody knows flared nose is a sign of so called blackness. Yeah. So they had to, you had to chop off the nose to further your deception. That's what the prophecy says. It says that you would go about to deceive the whole world. That's how you did it. Okay, you show. You would go about to deceive the whole world. That's what it says in the book of Revelation. Right. Boy, it said right. If you look, you can see that when all of them, their noses are chopped off, right? Yep. All four. You can of see them. they got swords and stuff, that's not chopped off, but the noses are chiseled off. Right. You know what they use to chisel it off? They use a karaka. Yeah. And they're going to use a karaka but to ch chisel you off. Yeah, I got mad as hell, man, that that CNN thing, it was showing King David, yeah. you know, and he had an old ass cracker, you know, this is a this is a ring. That's how you keep the keep you keeping that goddamn keep lie going, going, man. Yeah. Keep the lie going. This I is a this, this is a gold ring. 
and they called it the Good Shepherd. It was found uh, in Roman era wreck off off Israel, and this is what was on the ring. Straight up, Jake. Wow. And they call it the Good Shepherd. Wow. Wow. You can't get a so-called white man out of that. I got a precept. They call it the, the Good Shepherd. Job nine and twenty-four. You see the Afro. Yeah. It says the earth you know? is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, when you go in Malachi one and four, it tells you who the wicked is. That's Esau, Edom. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not. If not, and that's how you did it, through something called iconoclasm. Yeah. By, by taking down the dark art and putting up your face up there. That's how you covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because the real judges look like so-called black men. Right. They had afro and dark skin. Those are the real judges, right? And that's why even in Britain, you had something called the, uh, the, uh, the Whig Party. Now, you had these Edomites that were wearing white woolly wigs. White woolly wigs is equivalent to what? Afro. <coughs> that's a sign of judgment, white woolly wig. Why would they put those wigs on their head? Even to this day, they do that over there in England. The, the judges, they put those white woolly wigs on before they, they adjudicate. Why? Because that's a sign that the so-called blacks were the real judges. And that stuff itches because it's wool. Yeah. Yeah. I got a quick precept. Yeah, you got it. Uh, First Maccabee 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's it. Yep, yeah, back to Job 9 and 24 right? again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So that's the big question. Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. The whole race of Esau Edom is the wicked. And the reason why you're the wicked is because the Heavenly Father created you to be the wicked. That's it. Uh, this is another definition of iconoclasm. The rejection or destruction of religious images as heretical. Well, wait a minute. If the previous religious images were so-called white people, why they had to be destroyed? Right. It don't make sense. They had to be destroyed because there were so-called black people. Right. And you couldn't have our image while you were ruling. You couldn't have our image being put out there. Right. You had to destroy our image and put up your image. That was great, great deception. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Great deception. Revelation 20. Got it. Got it. Yeah, because it would have been different if it was a, a another nation like like Ishmael, the, you know, the, the uh, uh, Islam doing it. But it was so-called, these people calling themselves Christians doing it. So if the if the original Christians people were well, so called white so called people, white people why, why destroying the why yeah, destroy exactly. the image? And Napoleon Bonaparte had a, a whole um, thing about sending his army to go about destroying images. The first popes were so called black people. Yeah. The first popes, okay. Revelation chapter twenty verse one, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent yep. which is the devil the reason why it says that old serpent you got to go back to the book of genesis yep. where it speaks about that serpent that deceived eve which shows you right there it wasn't an actual serpent it was a person it was a person it was a person it was an edomite man what would be known as an edomite right. a, a seed of the wicked right Deceive Eve. And Eve is being deceived to this very day by that same goddamn serpent. That's it. The lieutenant. Who 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 gobbled up feminism? He's man? sticking you with them fangs right about now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who gob who gobbled you up, Eve, with feminism? You know what I you mean by the fangs? Man. Yeah. What comes out oh, what comes out of the fangs? Poison. Poison. That, that, that juice. That, that venom, juice. juicy juice. Eve, you you guilty you, of uh, you sitting down accepting the fang, man. Yeah. yeah. You guilty of man, you sucked Except up in the thing. Yeah, you sucked up no no, you sucked up uh the poison of feminism like it was candy. Yeah, yeah. Like it like it was a strawberry shake. You sucked it up. You know how you be drinking that strawberry and you want to get every last bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 like 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 this guy. Oh no, no, a shaka. Yeah, oh, that guy. Yeah, man. He he took that. Hey, you take the hey, you take the cup and you put the straw you. Yeah, he yeah. put a swirl to it. And you had you really had no reason to uh, suck up feminism because the so-called black man wasn't treating you bad. Right. So why the hell did you? They're treating you bad now. Yeah. Because hey, yeah, well, Jake killed this killed this whole 
It was on uh, this guy's show. Uh, this is guy from the Jungle Boys. The guy got the show. Um, uh, the Willie D. Well, oh, Willie D. Okay. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, the, ghetto guy, yeah. the Ghetto Boys. The Ghetto Boys. The ghetto boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's this one chick with a fat ass, big titties, and she didn't want to deal with the dude no oh, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he killed them. And now, now that's a tragic thing. But guess what? Biblically, really, there's nothing wrong with that. Thing. Right. You know, because that's a woman is your possession. Right. And yeah. that's how it's gonna be in the kingdom. That's right. it. Ain't no, ain't gonna, ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be no strip clubs in the kingdom. Oh, no, no sir. The strip club is gonna be right at your house. That's right. it. The yeah, pole, yeah, everything yeah. you need is gonna be yeah, at the house. Everything you need, the pole, all that. Yeah, Don't let it go out on the pass over to the strip club. <laughs> the strobe yeah. lights. You know? We're gonna have uh -huh. the pole. The music, the dance. No, we don't, ain't gonna need me. The pole's gonna be on. The pole. We gonna have the pole. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The that's G strings. Right. Right. Literally, we're gonna have a pole. Yeah, she's gonna be dancing. She's gonna be dancing times. around the pole, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the pole, up and down, climbing up the pole. The north and south. And the poles are gonna oh, be yeah. bigger. She's gonna be swirling around like a candy you know? cane. Hey, the, hey, the pole is gonna be for your home. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And we're gonna oh, have plenty Lord. of pole too, baby. Yeah, that's and right. we're gonna have pole. The most yeah. high gonna give us You're gonna have pole and then some pole. Yep. Pole, pole and then pole. pole. We're gonna have pole that's a, that's a nice enough for you to hold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get back. Okay. As it has been told. Oh, uh, Revelation 20 and 2. Yeah. And he lay hold on the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a little fun. Gun, gun, yeah. gun. But it's true. The That's most right. high gonna give us back our battle. Yeah. yeah. We may hey, well, not there's, say anymore. There's a reason why the Lord said when the priests go up to the podium, right, right. not ah, to go up by right. steps. That's yeah. right. It said at least the nakedness show. Yeah, right. Show. Sure. What do you, what do you so if you're going up a, a right. step and you got on a, a garment, right. yeah. what do you mean your your nakedness show? Well, right. that's that painting with uh, the Israelites going into captivity, and they were made mockery by the <laughs> Babylonians, <laughs> and they cut off half their garment, and you can see three legs. Now I ain't gotta tell you what the third leg is. That's it. That's it. That's it. All you nations are coming up under us. That's right. That's just a fact. That's a fact of life. Facts of life. Uh, Revelation 20 and 2. And, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Yeah, so that's during the Dark Ages when uh, Esau was uh, pretty much uh, in slavery underneath us. As a matter of fact, uh, that word slave, I think it comes from the word Slav, which means white servant, mm. even though you so-called white people are not white. Slav, it means servant, because at one time you, that, that, that was the, the part that you played, slaves. Yoke of the slave. Yeah, even though, let's go back to the Borgia family, before they, the, uh, not the Borgia <laughs> family, I'm sorry, the, the Rothschild family. Before Mayim Shel Bawa changed his name to Rothschild, it, their last name was Bawa, wow. which means what, peasant or slave. Cause that's what they're going back to. They're the real slaves of the planet Earth. So like it. Uh, this is that icon, a day in the king's court. You know, the famous show, that, show that. I was just thinking that. Man. Show that. I mean, they. Uh, 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 a you good, a good example. Yeah, this is a good example of what the apostle was saying about iconoclasm, because you can see on the judges wearing, they're wearing the red. You can tell, you can tell they had afros. And they they pretty much bleached their skin. They they made them white. And then you got the you got the uh, nobles or whatever on the on the table with the papers. What year was that painting? Uh, I think it's nine twenty four A.D. We should look it up. Okay. It was right smack dab in the Middle Ages that painting. Okay. okay. It wasn't no eighteen hundred or, or early nineteen hundred. Which we saw called the Dark Ages. It says created in the late twelfth to okay. early thirteenth century. From the, yep, from the Curia region, regions, and regions. we were still ruling back then. Yep. You, you Edomites really didn't come on the scene till like the latter part of the 1300s. Yeah, going into the 1400s, 13, yep. 14, late 13, early 14, mid 1400s. That's good. So that proves you're the devil. Yep. You know. And also, I want you to get after you read that. Go, go to uh, Genesis three. Kind of. Dealing with the serpent. Kind of. So it says, and cast him into the bottomless pit. <laughs> And shut them up. That's Europe. The bottom of the pit is the Europe. And shut yep. them up. And shut them up. They weren't able to rule like they're ruling now. Right. Go ahead. And set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, uh -huh. till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. Yeah, that, 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 that season last now. deception is the uh, the things. Right. You know. And see, notice like. 
there was a point where they could they were able to deceive but then it came to a point when the lord put that seal on them that that no matter what they did it didn't work yep. now the scripture said that once the beast came up out of the you know up from the the deadly wound was healed yep. he said that the whole world wandered after the beast well even before that we go back to when they were under that seal right. they, were, they were mostly up there where in the caves now you can read about that history in job the 30th chapter you know, you were up there in the caves, you were grunting, you were brain, like it says, you were brain like horses, or, or good. That's how you were talking to each other. You know, you were on a beastly, the Heavenly Father put you on a beastly state. Yeah, that was right after, put in between the Babylonian Empire and the Macedonian, <laughs> a.k.a. Greek Empire. So for a period of a couple hundred years, you were on that low state. Very low state. That's why I said go to uh, Genesis, the third chapter yeah, as well. God. Yeah, and uh, going back to um, the 600s, 500s, you were up there in the caves. You had a name, you were calling yourself Kazas, which the word Kaza means wanderer. All right, and then you had your own uh, chieftains, you call them Chagan, you know, Chagan. So all of that history, as a matter of fact, that history is written in the book, The 13th Tribe right. by uh, Arthur Kostler. He goes into how despicable the Kazas were. They would wear their underwear, to it frayed on them, their, their women would uh, uh, pick uh, lice from between their tank. Pick lice from between. They were on that low yeah. level. Yeah. They were on that low level. You, you, the, the, uh, the, the father would wash first, wash his face, spit, and, and you know, spit in, in the water, and then pass it to the. the yeah. Oh, they, it's disgusting. They show you that in Thirteen Warrior. Thirteen Warrior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And even my man Bandera, he went. He went. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, because uh, the, the Islamic, the Israelites, they had. An order, you know, yep. yeah, cleaning culture. rituals, eating yeah. rituals, yeah. not eating cloth, but they learned it from Abraham. Yep. That's well, should they will go through a whole ritual of <laughs> washing up before they pray? And you know what's heavy? You Edomites, you're gonna go back to that state. You're gonna look pitiful in our kingdom, man. Yeah, well, they're not gonna go back to the state of. Not that, you know, they they yeah. they're gonna be on a low level. We're gonna we're gonna put clothes on them. We're gonna feed them, but we're gonna work them. Yeah. We're gonna work, them. and they're gonna know Hebrew. You know. Oh yeah. They're going to know the laws, and they're going to know to keep the laws. Now, for you guys saying, well, what if, what if they break a law they sacrifice? They're not going to have time to break no laws, bro. Right. You're going to have, you, man, you ain't got no time to commit uh, adultery. If you, if I tell you to dig a right. wall for 24 hours, how the hell are you going to have time to commit a sin? Right. You're going to be digging, boy, yeah. you know? Right. Sun come up, sun go down, you still gonna go you fall out, gonna beat digging. the shit out of you, right. yeah. slap the spirit back in you, yeah. and get get you back to digging. Then we're gonna have to chop down trees. You ain't gonna have time to sit. Yeah. And you ain't gonna look good. I'm dead serious, no. bro. And on the Sabbath, you just gonna wanna sleep. And on the Sabbath, you ain't gonna, what you gonna do on the Sabbath? Yeah. You're you gonna, gonna sleep. sleep. You're yeah. gonna sleep your ass off, man. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna have quarters. Sleep into the old. What you gonna, you, you won't be able to roam around free like you do now. We're gonna have a watch, and the angels are gonna have a watch over the you angels, too. Then. So the what sin are you gonna commit when the what angels, the animals? Yeah. when the <laughs> angels and, and the animals, they're gonna yeah. tell you. Yeah. That, the scriptures tell you that. Yeah. The bird goes back and tells the king. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Go so, ahead and give me that if you can, can. If, if you know what it is. Yep, yep. Wait a minute, um, Isaiah 14 and 21 says, prepare slaughter for his children, that they do not rise nor possess the cities. Yep. Fill, yep, yep, yeah, the so cities. you yep, won't yep. be able to roam, and you ain't gonna be looking. You're good. not gonna. You, you're gonna. When when you get some rest, you gonna. When we say rest, when we say Shabbat, you gonna you gonna be happy. Man. Oh yeah. You gonna you be go. happy on the Passover. And you know how like we're gonna work you on the Passover. We're gonna work you on the Tabernacles. We're not gonna work you on the Sabbath. We're, we're not gonna work you on the New Moon. So you will have some mercy. Yeah. Yep. Well, there'll be mercy, but. It'll be like almost like no mercy for you because you're gonna on that day you're gonna be healed, trying to heal from your wounds because well, you're gonna have blessing. so many wounds. Well, that's a blessing for you. You're gonna have that's so many wounds. That's the only blessing they're gonna get. That's, it. that's, that's it. the only blessing they're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse twenty. He that leave the captivity is just so all the captivity. He that kill him with the sword must, must be killed kill. with the sword. That's it. Here you know, when you go when you go to the the Bible hub and you read the commentary commentary thing, you know. Yeah, slavery. Is sl they, they didn't even break it down, right? Yeah, they Cause they know when they read it. They're like, oh <laughs> shit. What is really talking about? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, they know. Especially your your top your top leaders, they know. Oh yeah. The top wicked elite, they know. Oh yeah. They in trouble. Yes, sir. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. 
And another thing too, trauma is going to be a big word for you either might you kick trauma. Because you're going to be traumatized. Oh yeah. Because the kind of, the, well the scriptures say, give unto her double. You traumatize our people. Yeah. Our people are still reeling from the effects of the trauma of slavery. That's right. To this very day, man. That's right. That's why Jake is all, another reason why Jake is all fucked up, because of the trauma of slavery. Coming over here in dirty, filthy cargo slave ships? Come on, man. And you're going to be sent back and forth in the car in the slave ship, too. Yeah. You're going to be put on auctioning blocks. Yeah. We're going to yeah. sell you to the Sabians. Oh, Break yeah. up your family. Your Battle. families are going to be broken up. Battlefield Earth. You know why? Because you, you're going to be our property. And we can do whatever the hell we want within the law, of course, with our property. Right. You're going to be our property, literally our property. Right. Well, we'll have them stay with their own. They can produce more slaves. We're not going to do P that when we separate your wife with another guy. Yeah. Nah, that's adultery right like there. You're going to no, be no, with no, your huh? wife. You're going to be with your wife. Yeah. And your kids. But your kids are going to be out there in the field with your wife. Right. Right. Esau. Come. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you did uh, uh, you did that to us. You know, you're going to be traumatized. You ain't going to have a good time in the kingdom. No, oh, no way. And then what about the day when it, it's going to be known to you that all of you are going to be rounded up and burnt? Oh, so they're going to look forward to that day. Over, over they're going to say, no, yeah, we, we, we want to get the fuck out of here. Well, that's true. That's true. You know? Master, didn't you say over there 118? <laughs> oh, shit. That's true. Yeah, that look, at that, look, at that, look at that the sun and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're one more day closer to. Yep. That's a long thousand yeah. years, cracker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that day, that last day, they're going to be working hard. Oh, they know that at the end of that day. Yeah. And I don't even work as much. I'm going to work you, man. You're like, man, you, know, you smelling freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, that, the only freedom is the, the death and destruction. That's it. Then, then we're going to send taskmasters over you. Oh, yeah. And the other nations, they hate you. Hell, yeah. The other nations hate you, man. The Hamites. All the other nations, they hate you. They, like it says, is this the man that caused the earth to tremble? Because you're going to be looking so pitiful, people ain't going to believe you are once you once ruled the earth. Yeah. Like, look at this, look at this piece of shit. You know? Look at this piece of shit. Is this the man? Yep, you got it. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which has wings shall tell the matter. So we're going to know everything that you do. That's right. Yep. I got some real quick. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 and what is that, verse 2? Yeah, I know. I was going to, I thought about it. You brought it up. Okay. Let me start at the 1. Angels. Yeah, start at 1. Okay. 1 Corinthians 6 and 1. Did any of you having a matter against another go to, to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the, the world... saints? The saints are the Israelites. Israelites yep. Psalm 148, uh, in the 13th verse. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? That's right. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Yeah, judge angels means we're going to tell angels what to do. If we want to sick angels on our enemies, we, we'll, we'll have that power. Tell the angel, the angel will do our bid. Fine. Hey, because, because the Most High, <coughs> he did that. He did that to uh, to the Egyptians. Yep. In uh, Psalm 78, 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, mm -hmm. wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Yes. And you know like that, that what was, that's in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, where it spoke about the plagues that were coming upon them. The darkness, it was so dark, yep. they were just hearing noise, they couldn't see anything. Yep. So they thought that the noise that they were hearing was worse than the actual thing that was actually there. Which yeah, was, it mentioned skipping beasts. Yeah, oh man. And, uh, apparitions, ghosts. Apparitions, ghosts, yep. yeah. So that's, hey, the scripture says that. Kind of like hearts, Ghostbusters. It's like it, I was in the thought. Kind of like Ghostbusters. Yeah. It's a Ghostbuster scenario. Well, guess, guess what? It's going to happen again. Right. In this modern day, Isaiah 33, 18, Thine heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the uh, receiver? Where is the uh, counted? Where is he that counted the tower? But the point is, thine heart shall meditate terror. Yeah. And that's going to be terror for your ass. <laughs> hey, the, 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 uh, the, the Heavenly Father is also known as the King of Terror. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, somebody getting a ping? Oh, this, yeah, dude. this guy. Oh, yeah, that dude calls it. That's, that's pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah. You right. probably got it hooked up to a stereo. Yeah, the, the speakers, yeah. Uh, that was it. Uh, that was it. Anybody got anything else? Uh, back in 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, it says, uh, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing oh, it. Oh, you said we're going to. Genesis 3 as well. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I like it. I had yeah, that too. Circle. You want me to go from the top or just to the point with the... Go to where the... You know, okay. Uh, Genesis 3 and 14. And the Lord power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. You can break it down. Right, so pretty much because, you know, the serpent, this. right, he, he deceived Eve. The Lord said that he's going to be cursed about, I mean, in other words, he's cursed about everything and anything on the planet. Yep. He said he's going to eat dust on his belly, which doesn't mean that they're going to eat dust because serpents don't eat dust. That's not their meat. You know, the dust is a representation of confusion. confusion. And that's what they were, they were in that confused state. That's when we read Job 30. That's where it goes into that low state that they right. were in. Well, because it was a the direct leader curse. Of America. The, the leaders of America are Edomites. <laughs> yeah. America, uh, another word for America in the Bible is Babylon, which means confusion, right? Dust. Uh, dust is confusion. And America is literally going to be turned into dust. And it says, and dust shall thou right. eat all the days of thy all life. The, so wherever they go, they represent confusion. Yep. That's why you get all this bullshit concerning the Bible oh. from uh, the so-called white men. They, they wacky ass breakdowns. Right. You know, like earlier we were talking about uh, uh, that so-called white man talking about Jeremiah 10. It doesn't mean that uh, right. you know, decking a tree. And right, it's not right. talking about a Christmas Yes, it tree. does. Yes, it does. That's what. That's that confusion. It came from, it had, the way it got here to America, it came from Victoria, England, Germany. Right. Then it goes back. It kept going back. Where did they get it from? They got it. It goes back to the Egyptians, the back to the uh, Syrians, mainly the Syrians, the Babylonians, the Babylonians, which are Syrians. Yeah. Hey, when back, you, back to uh, Tammuz in uh, Semiramis. When you when you type in like like a uh, painting or not painting uh, sculptures of like uh, the Assyrians and stuff and Babylonians, they show you actual trees that they had that they were worshiping. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, there's even a song, "Oh Christmas Tree, Oh That's Christmas." Right. What is, is the song glorifying a goddamn Christmas tree? What is that? Is that not worshiping the tree? See, they don't know. The average person, of course, it's obvious. They don't know. All they know is that their parents told them get a Christmas tree for toys on it. Yeah. They don't know the, the pagan origins of it. Right? Yeah. And then, and then even more confusion, and we discussed it earlier, how the hell do you get three days from Friday, which is supposedly right. when, when the Lord was, uh, according to you, so-called white people, <laughs> The Lord died on a Friday or was put to death on a Friday and supposedly he raised up magically right. on a Sunday. Right. How you get three days from Friday to Sunday? The and, then they, and, then they called it, and then they called it the Sabbath, the Sunday Sabbath. And on Sunday Sabbath, man. That's that confusion. Yeah. So concerning the Bible, and that's why, if I may read this, Psalm 50 and 16, you got to read that. Because you ain't got no business dealing with this Bible. Huh. Psalm 50 and 16, it says, but unto the wicked, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4, right? But unto the wicked, God saith, I'm going to read it verbatim, God, which his name is Yahweh, but unto the wicked, God saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes? So he's talking to you Edomites. What the hell do you have to do to declare his statutes, meaning the Bible, right? What is thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. Seeing thou hatest instruction. Let's go back to Cain. Did Cain follow instruction? Hell no. What was Matter of fact, let's go to that. Yeah. Keep reading that. Let's yeah. go to that. Keep reading. Scratch uh, the third chapter, and we'll come back to the third chapter. So go, go to Genesis third chapter, then we're going to go right to the fourth chapter. Okay. By the way, Cain. The that's how we, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah. we know. That's how we know that Cain <laughs> came back as Esau. Absolutely. There's no scripture on it, and yep. thus Cain came back. And it's not in there. He's right. the wicked one. The, the, the Bible is written in code. Right. And who gave us the code? Like you play them video games, 
and you get the Colts. Right, 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 right. The most I gave is the Colts. So you break you you play that Cole. game, you get yep. killed in the first three seconds. Yep. Yep. We be killing every goddamn body. Why? Because yeah. we got the Colts. Yeah, we got yeah. the Colts. You, you crackers don't got the Colts. So you don't have the history of Christmas tree cake. Yeah, like in Grand Theft Auto. If you have a cheat code, you could yeah. get a tank. So the current, you could get a, you know, so, so the, current, uh, <laughs> the current Christmas tree and the toys and all and the gifts. Oh, and by the way, when you go into the tradition, yeah, you part of the tradition is to kill people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you brought that out. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Halloween too. It's a, it's a, a, yeah. So you got to kill somebody yeah. on Christmas. Yeah. It's a human sacrifice morning. Oh, Saturnalia. Yeah. This is never. Saturnalia, the worship of Saturnalia, also known as Christmas. It's actually a human sacrifice uh, uh, festival. You got drunk, you ate. Hey, Thanksgiving, if you really want to celebrate the original Thanksgiving, you got to eat ill, <laughs> not the turkey. Where the fuck they get the turkey from? How many of you niggas are willing to eat ill? Gee, man, you gonna eat ill this, this Thanksgiving? Coming next year, if it's, if it's, if it's here. Like you said, frisky eel? Yeah, frisky, 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 yeah, yeah, frisky, 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 Seeing thou hatest instruction, and we, we, we began with Cain, right. seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. Come. They don't deal with the scripture, they deal with their own laws, man. Yeah. Hey, Trump, oh, Trump, the people that follow, blindly follow him, they born him now. Because he's telling them to take the thing. But at first he said it was a hoax. So what are, what are we finding out? Well, we already know, but the world finding out that these guys are all, oh, they just two sides of the same fucking point, yep. you yep. know? What they call that, um, control opposition? Control, control opposition. That's all they are. They, they appear and to be. You've done, you yep. slow, you slow mind, dim you begin, you dim, you dim with, you're yep. beginning to wake up. Yeah, they appear to be opposition, but they're control. How can opposition be control? If it's control, then it's really not opposition. It's just an illusion. Of opposition. And that's what that's what this place is all. This place is a factory of illusions, led by the biggest factory of illusion, which is Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, which by the way, Hollywood, that goes back to the ancient druids uh, with their magic wands. The magic wand was made out of hollow wood. Hollow wood. Hollow, hollow wood. wood. So Hollywood is really a, an ancient cast spell. The, mo the movies yeah. cast. That's why they're hurrying up for a couple of years to have more movie theaters and shit. Now they're hurrying up and putting them because they want you to come back. I ain't going back to no fucking movie, man. What the hell am I going to go and sit down in the dark right. there? Hell yeah. I can, wait, the I can wait until it, right. And yeah. I, I can wait until it comes out, you know, yeah, yeah. six months later. Or most of the movies are also streamed, man. What the fuck am I going to the movie for? You know? Yeah, the most I made the so called white woman, she uh, jumped off one of the letters of Hollywood, jumped off to her death. You can read about that. Back in the 30s, I think it was. Uh, 20s or the 30s, one of those uh, decades, show you that Hollywood is, is a factory of death. And our people that go to Hollywood, they're never the same. Once you get turned out, yeah, because they tell them what the real deal is, yeah. what they got to do. All of them, Denzel, all of them, man. They're all turned out, man. You got it. Man. How many of them guys are coming out and talking about Israel? A couple of them, Kanye, but Kanye's <laughs> a bug out. Yeah, don't listen to him. Yeah. Uh, who else? Oh, uh, you had uh, this guy. Uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar, he came out, made a song about it, then they pulled him to the side and said, no, nigga, we don't talk about that. He's not He's not even down with IUIC. His cousin Duckworth, that's, that, that's the guy that got him into it. A cousin named Duckworth. He got him into it, and, they, and that dude left. So they, so they turned their back, man. And I was looking up, and I did a video on it about turning your back to the clouds. Now I went to the uh, Bible hub and everyone and they put the guy broke it down right. He said, when you're working on a farm with acres, you got the oxen and you and you got the plow. plow right. You gotta you gotta watch the the oxen, right? Because they, if you don't control them, they'll go off. Right. So you gotta go straight. You're going straight, right? So let's say you look back. 
you looking back like that, the, uh, you wind up going all the way over here and you right, fucked right, up that whole line, right, man. Right, right. And, then when, the, and when the land owner finds out you did it, he ain't going to give you another thing. He's going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 now yeah. I got to get somebody to know how to do it. Yeah. And that's why the most I killed that nigga uh, uh, Comfy, man. Because mm -hmm. this nigga was fucking up plow, plows all over the place, man. Yeah, yeah. And the most I took his ass out. Yeah, rusty plows. Hey, IUIC, I mean, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, IS. I G G C I I C G I C G whatever I C G J C. There's no videos on it, man. If the video pop up, there's a video that was they put up like 13 years ago, man. Yeah, what happened to the wave so of that's, fire? So that, that the wave of fire then went out. Man. Fire died down. Back then they had they they were making videos against us. Right. They call us the Antichrist unit. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna stop teaching by so and so. Yeah, that one guy made a uh, 2010 or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, then yeah. they had the wave of fire continues. And then hey, but, but what, what's the first script that comes to your mind? Should oh, come to your mind. Uh, Tabernacles of Bribery? No, no. Matthew 25? No, the five what, 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 we, what are we talking about? About, what about, about them falling off or us still remaining doing this thing? Timothy's? Acts 5. Oh, oh five. Five, yeah. five. You know, you know. Okay. Yeah. If this all, oh, this work be of if this work be of men, it shall come to not. Right. But if it's not of men, then you cannot overthrow it. Least happily, you be found to fight against. Least ha it happens that you're fighting against the right. most high. Right. right. So when you come against us in any way, all right, you're really fighting against the most. You got to answer to the most high. Absolutely. And the most high is a demon-like power. Right. I'll assure you, man, the great destroyer. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say that's why the Lord came to, uh, to Saul. He told him why kicking style against the pricks. Yeah, the exactly, pricks. exactly. Exactly. Yep. But he had mercy on Saul. Because yep. he did it in ignorance. Yeah. Apostle Paul broke it down. He said, the Lord had mercy on me because I did it ignorant. Right, right. In unbelief. In unbelief. Yeah. Well, he thought he was actually doing he the He right was doing thing. the will of the most high. Right. And so he was sincere, but he was sincerely wrong. Right. And even so, the Heavenly Father still plagued Paul. Yeah. I mean, he, he had so many plagues. One plague, he prayed, he prayed to the Heavenly Father to take it away from him. The Heavenly Father said, look, my, my grace is sufficient for you. Woo! Well, that was, the, that was made, the, whatever it could be, this, the thorn in his flesh. Because my, my strength is made perfect in weakness. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of brothers don't understand that. Like that guy lamenting, that guy from Fopi. Oh, catch it. Oh, I was thinking of killing him. Well, well you, you know why he said that? You know why that nigga said that? He said that because he's not a man of the Lord. I was thinking of killing <laughs> If you think about killing yourself, man. Yeah, you, what's wrong with you? The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. What's wrong with you, nigga? The, the King David wouldn't. Uh, hey, when, when his son. Oh, uh, oh, God, give me that sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me that sword, Absalom. Yeah. I'm going to cut myself through. You know? Go ahead. That's like, real quick. This is uh, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 12. Seek not death in the error of your life. <laughs> Woo! And, God, that's a good one. That's and pull one. not upon yourself destruction. Yo, you can hear the sound of the blade. Shit. And the scripture say this. Why die when you can live? Yeah. You're so talking you about death back then, man. Death. You're talking about living, man. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, how do you, how should I say, why seek ye the death among the, the living? living? Right. <laughs> It says um, a, 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 a live dog is better than a dead lion. Dead lion, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I saw always quote that. Yeah. And then this guy, his partner, his buddy, he said he kind of, I'm feeling, what the fuck is, what, give me a first Corinthians 7. You know what I want, brother. Yeah, looking like cameo. Yeah. Word up. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and those guys, the Lord wasn't dealing with them guys. Because you know what? Joke, they came up under some weak-ass Israelite group called uh, HODC with all their funky ass breakdowns. But they really wasn't in them because they did their own thing. And then they disappeared for like a year and a half. Then when they came back, they came back with a whole new doctrine. Yeah, a whole new look too. Yeah, the new wave cut going. Yeah, the Grace cameo, Jones yeah. and shit. Grace Jones. Yeah, the Grace yeah, the Lord, Jones. The Lord ain't dealing with them guys. Oh, man. The Lord um, ain't dealing with them guys. Oh, sorry, 1 Corinthians 7? Yeah, uh, 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 29 verse. Okay, okay got it. It's the first Corinthians 7 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. It is. And they that weep as though they wept not. What does it mean to weep? You're depressed. Right. Right. And they that weep as though they, they wept that not. wept not. 
Yeah. So if you're thinking about that, I ain't gonna tell you about that. Right. If I'm thinking about doing myself in, I'm not gonna do a video. Right. To, I, me, myself, I thinking about, I was thinking about taking my, I ain't gonna do no, no ain't nobody gonna follow me, man. Right. right. You know? And furthermore, we're already dead. Who told that guy we're living anyway? And this is living? And motherfucker, we're here to be punished, dumbass. Yeah. Bad we, 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 what is Deuteronomy 28 chapter all about? It's about the curses, brother. Yeah. Right. All right? It says, it says of your children, you shall not destroy them. You shall have a wife, but another man shall lie with, with, right. uh, with her. Yeah. You shall uh, plant a vineyard, and yeah. you shall not drink of the gates, uh, the, the grapes thereof. Your, 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 um, your life shall hang in doubt. Yeah. Your life shall hang it in the morning, shall it, as I shall say, yeah, yeah. with the most high. Yeah, That's easy. talking yeah, about yeah. I might get the body, might kill me, or yeah, you yeah. might kill yourself. Come. So them guys are not men of the Lord. The Lord ain't dealing with them guys. No. They came up with them fat, they're fast talking, and they spoke against the words of the apostles, yeah. man. Yeah. Because what did they teach? Yeah. When we when we taught Sarnet and them that rape is uh, as though, as though, although it sounds harsh, but it's biblical. Right. Okay, we got to give you the whole. We have to declare unto you the whole, the, the whole counsel of the Lord. Right. Right. Lord, right. You right. have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. So what I'm going to say? I, well, I don't want to say it. I'm get emotional. Bitter in the sweet. Let me just say. Well, I don't know. Let me fast and pray on that. Get back to you in five years. No, we. You asked the motherfucking question, and we gave you an answer and so on to the scriptures. Right. Yeah. And the rest of you clowns got emotional, man. Yeah. Hey, the like, guy said, "I'm thinking about killing myself." He got emotional. He acting like a bitch. Yeah, I got a precept here, Hebrews 2 and 10. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Bam, bam. Now, do you understand that? You that wanted to kill yourself? Do you understand that we're going to be made perfect? You're supposed to suffer. Right. We're under the curses, clown. That's it. Cut. No man shall buy thee. Now, now, uh, uh, Job, let's go to that, Job 3. That means that you never understood what, a lot of you guys, you think that this thing is a fad, you know? Yeah, I'm a Hebrew, is it? Like you'll join the gang, you don't join the gang. Until the new thing comes up. Yeah, you don't join a gang now, you know? This ain't no gang, man, this is a nationality, man. Hey, I found, I found out something, I did it on one of the videos, now when you, deal with the word karagma, the karagma is going to go where? Into your right hand or into your forehead, right? Yep. Do you know what the Greek, Greek word for uh, forehead is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Metapon. Yep. You brought that up. Metapon. You know what the root word is? Meta. Meta, yeah. Metaverse. What did this guy, right, the metaverse, the metaverse. Mm -hmm. Now, now what it means is, loosely translated, your forehead is a computer. Right. The, the, the computer that you deal with is, is just like your body right. where it calculates. What do you cal calculate from right here? Right. Think about things. Right. You know, you there too. Figure out problems and solve yep. problems and stuff. Yep. So that's that thing, they're going to put that thing in your head to have control over your computer. Huh? Mm. Yeah. I, yeah but, but I saw it before a couple of years ago, but I, I saw it again. I said, oh, yeah. Yep. Meta pond is forehead, but meta is what? Right. When you look up, look up the word meta. Look up meta and let's see what it says. It's a Greek word, right? Meta. Meta. Yeah. Meta. Yeah. <clears throat> like metaphysical. Meta metaphysical. metaphysical. That's yep. outside of the physical. Yep. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Yep. Yep. So pretty much they're gonna take a foreign object and tap into your computer. Into your, into your computer. Right. Well, it, well like again, the Matrix. Remember like that the thing? Like the Matrix. Yeah. Like the Matrix. Yep. Like once, no, 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 no. Once again, uh, uh, trying to uh, destroy the God gene. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So wants to destroy the our faith the VMAT 2 yeah. gene mm -hmm. which which they show the brain I believe if you got that gene it's up here and that means you conscious of the most high right right but if they can destroy that yeah. that light is down there and you don't feel the most high right yeah or the guy that took the jab yeah. he said I felt like after I took it I felt like I lost my faith and he went back to Nathan and, and they were trying to console him right. well he's done man yeah. he's yeah. straight up done Esau don't believe in Mosai. Esau, uh, in Psalm 36, it says, the Mosai is not in all their thoughts. Right. So Esau's already a beast. Yeah. Right. So he wants to make us like him, a beast. It's a fool. A fool has said, said his heart. You said Psalm what? 
36. Uh, 36. I got 36. Oh, you know, also one. Tom, 10. Tom, 10. Yep, there's another oh, yeah. one. Yep. So, and there's yeah. one in 36, too. Yeah, and then uh, definition uh, Daniel 12. Yep, yep, another one. Yep, Daniel 12. Yep. I got the definition of the word. So, once you take that thing, you know, once you get that thing in your system, yep. that's it. Lucifer there's no, There's no way you can be saved. Yeah. There's no way you can somebody hold on deck. Uh, Revelation 14 and 9. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 15, 1, 2, and 3, maybe. And Revelation 16, 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, I'm going grab some of those pieces. I'm going to grab 14 and 9. So you got these different groups saying that it ain't what we say it is. So guess what? The, con the congregation is going to feel at ease and they're going to want, well, there's nothing I can't, I don't, I don't have to worry about taking it. Because my master, which he claims he believes the most high, told me it's all right. And guess what? You're going to you're gonna get destroyed. The last deception of Esau is what? That right there. Yeah, yeah. And the average person, when you try to tell them, tell them that, they look at you crazy. But then you got Israelite groups that are out there saying that we going off. We ain't going off, man. That's why the Apostle Paul said it best, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Yeah, they know they're Israelites, but they're not the Israel. They're not the Israel of God. The Israel of God is the elect. The, Israel the only of God ones that can make it is the elect. All these guys that came in, came in before, and they went out for five years, ten years, how, how many years? And they were hitting precepts and all that, and they went back out in the world. Right. Guess what? They will never be elect. Never Most of right. brought them in and kicked their asses right back the fuck out. They went out from us. They went out from us. Yep. They're the foolish virgins. Did not Yahushua taught the parable of the foolish virgins? All the virgins were Israelites. But some of them were not wise. Some of them were what? Foolish. Because they didn't have no oil. They didn't have no oil. So now, I can respect the guy. Let's say a guy, the point of TMS, he said, I want to do my own thing, you know, with all due respect. We're going to think that you're not elect. But guess what? If you out there on the corner still teaching, yep. you're teaching the same way you've been teaching, I'm like, I ain't got nothing. I ain't, not, I ain't got nothing against you, bro. Yeah. If I see you, I'm going to salute you and all that. Right. And I'm going to say, this guy's one of the elect. It just so happened to be that he's, what happened to Paul and Barnabas? <laughs> right. Right? If the Holy Spirit is working with them, because the Apostle Paul said it best. He said, I'll not know the speech of them. That's but the, but the, but the, but the power. power. What does he mean by the power? Is the Holy Spirit working with this guy? Yeah. Actions, by actions. Right. Yeah. Is he saying yeah. the right thing? Is he rightly dividing the word of truth? Is he breaking it down correctly? Is he speaking sound doctrine? Right. If he ain't doing that, guess what? I don't care. He could be an Israelite with a long ass name. He ain't an Israelite of God. Yeah, because the scriptures speak about the, some departing from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits right. and doctrines of doctrines devils. Of, you got doctrines of devils out yeah, there. Yeah. Right. And guys that are Israelites teaching doctrines of devils, like Nate. Nate, uh, uh, Yohanna, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Zabat, what's his name? Zabat, Zabat, yeah. uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the, the singing, the singing. Uh, oh, Rakar from GLCC? Yeah, Rakar from GMF, uh, GMF. GLCC. GLCC. Him, oh yeah, know? his man, his, his, his country, man. That ba that's basically a fucked out church, man. They the teach that Edomites can make it. He taught the flea doctrine and got a lot of people fucked up, yeah. you know? He's doing concerts. He's doing concerts. He got mostly women following him. Most of his, his hey, he do a video right now, and this, this nigga get like 35,000 hits. <laughs> and they're mostly women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's who follows Nate, silly yeah. women made with sins. And you can know when the Holy Spirit's working with the guy. You see a guy teaching, his head is covered, the Holy Spirit is not working. Right. What more do you need? The Holy Spirit's not working with that guy. Because if it was, it would tell him to get that goddamn hat off his head because the Apostle Paul said it. If you prophesy to, with your head covered, Cover, you yeah. dishonor of your head. I mean, how much plainer does it have to be? So you can tell when the Holy Spirit is working with the guy. And if the Holy Spirit's working with is working with him all the way. All the way, man. Hundred percent. We yeah. say the hundred percent. We're the only group that say we have a hundred percent truth. What we mean by that is this. Y'all got a hundred percent truth. Y'all. You know all We go things. by the whole scripture. What, what does this scripture mean? This? What does that scripture mean? You believe? Yep. So if you're saying, like we always say, the, the MOTB is not what we say it is, guess what? You say something different? Yeah. The most high is not dealing, dealing with, with you. The Holy Spirit I don't give a damn that you know the 12 tribes yeah, right. Those, had yeah. Reuben and all that. Yeah. I don't give a damn that you got fringes on. Yeah. You know? You, you know make polished videos. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, uh, you, you got the greatest in, in, uh, special effects. You're the next Andrew Kramer. You know, you make them polished videos. So what? 
is the, is the power dealing with you? Again, what did the Apostle Paul said? I'll not know the speech of him that are puffed up, but the but power. The power he, was, he was concerned about that power. And in the Greek, the word there is dunimus, mm. which means the whole, literally the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit working with this guy? If it's not, then he ain't one of the Lord's men. It's simple as that. Taking winters off, that's not the way to go. And that's what the IUIC <clears throat> does. And most of all them camps. The only camp you're really going to see out here on the highways and the byways are GMS camps, man. And I was watching the GMS Dallas last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were on fire. Yeah, because you know why? Spirit you know why they were on fire? And we weren't there to coach. Yeah, that's right. Go up right. there. Right. Be on fire, brother. Be on We don't have to. Guess what does it? The Holy Spirit. The Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit is Spirit. like all them GMS camps that go out constantly. Hey, brother, we do videos every damn day. Sometimes we do videos two times a day, man. Most of them videos will be three or four o'clock in the morning, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I put up a video four in the morning, and then I'm getting long. I said, God damn, no more to sleep. <laughs> yep. 30, yeah. 40, 50, 60, yep, yep. you know? I, uh, I got a quick reset. Thumbs up for me. Uh, Exodus 4, beginning at 11. And the Lord said unto him, for him being Moses, who have made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the seen or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, <laughs> and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. So what is that? That's an example of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was working with Moses. I mean, that can't be disputed. So guess what? In this day, we're doing the same job Moses was doing, right? Go and speak to the house of Israel, right? So if the Holy Spirit is working with us, we're going to say the right thing. We're going to bring out the right doctrine. We're going to speak sound doctrine. We're going to say the right, you know? We're not going to be teaching lies. The Holy Spirit doesn't, doesn't deal with lies. Or else it wouldn't be the Holy Spirit. Holy means pure, sanctified, cleansed. How can you have a lie in there? Is it not written there's no lie of the truth? No? I was, I was, so I was, these guys, the bottom line, these guys don't understand what they're really, they, they don't even understand about the Holy Spirit, the machinations of the Holy, how it works, you know? And, and they have man. no fear. Another thing that they, they, they don't have is fear. They don't fear the most high. The men the most high have set up, you got guys saying, oh, uh, uh, you, you shouldn't have to follow men and you shouldn't have to join a... What? The Lord set up certain men Well, to well, I, I'll go with that if you first started following the men. Unless the Lord is actually dealing with you like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle, like you said last week. Yeah. The Apostle Paul didn't get with Peter yeah. and, the, and the heads for three years. The Spirit jumped on him and he just went out there and taught, man. He was a special case. But not, the that's Lord the, was the, actually dealing with him face to you. The Lord was acting something with him. Oh, absolutely. You know? That's the ex, that's the exceptional. There's always an exception to the rule. Yeah, you guys that say, I don't need a man, I'm going to do it my own. Yeah. I guarantee you. That ain't you the You watch this rule. guy's videos, he's going to have hip-hop videos. He's going to have big butt booty women. Oh, yeah. You know? He's going to have cars. He's going to have all kind of fucking bullshit. And then he might do a couple of videos here and there that, that might be two minutes long. Right. I got, I got him it. buying a gallon of apple juice. <laughs> yeah, apple juice is good. Come on, you know that in the game, right? <laughs> I got a precept for you, Apostle. This is the book of Galatians 4 and 1. Mm. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, mm. differeth nothing from a servant, though he be <laughs> lord of all, but is under tutors and, governor. and governors. What are they, angels that came <laughs> from, the, from the, <laughs> the, the fourth dimension? Or are they men? They're men! They're men, ain't but, they? They're <laughs> men. But it's under tutors. Hey, somebody, keep yep, reading. Yep, somebody yep. give me Romans 10. Huh? But it's under tutors. And start from that. 1. Keep going is 13, that. but yeah. start from 1. Yep. Galatians. Let's go through Romans 10, chapter. You never went through the whole uh, chapter. Good. I'm going to finish the second verse. Galatians 4 and 2. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Now, hold up. Myself. Yep. Apostle Kabbal, Apostle Carr, Apostle Ramla, uh, Bishop uh, Sakharan, y'all that are standing, yep. looking at me. Brothers, yeah. Any them brothers down the street, up the block, whatever, uh, on the other side of the, the, the country, the Spirit came on all of them and made them do that, man. But they had to come up under men. Right. All these GMS, GMS Dallas, GMS Chicago, this GMS, that GMS. <laughs> The reason why they said double honest, because they wouldn't notice if it wasn't for us. And if we wasn't around, they would have followed Nate, 
honor, and they would have gone off and they would have been condemned by the Most High, you know? So when, when they watched our videos, we break this down, break this down, break that down, and they went over so much that they came in, they found precepts that we never even taught them right. and broke them down correctly. Yeah, because the spirit, you have need for no teachers. Right, right. right. Go That's ahead. Unction, Real quick, this is uh, Acts chapter 8, verse 30. It says, And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man? No, an angel from heaven. Except some man. A nigga's always waiting for a fucking an angel, man. Yeah. I, you know, here he comes. <laughs> you know, the angel comes down with the wings. Was it Thursday sit night? Down, sit down. <laughs> and we'll open up the book. The heart played in nigga, the background. That ain't happening to you, man. <laughs> that ain't happening to you, bro. You gotta come, you gotta come up. You gotta you ain't gonna get the truth getting the fucking archangel award either. The man that was giving out the Archangel Award, he's he's in the spirit realm, you know, <laughs> waiting to come back to have his head down. Head down, yeah. And we gonna say that's all right, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, no, that's okay, brother. But I don't mind. Why me? You know why? <laughs> gonna sound like Mike Tyson yeah, 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 with that yeah. voice because he smoked so much air. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're all right, brother. You're all right, brother. I'm ecstatic. I'm not ecstatic. I wasn't ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then you shall know that there's, there's been a prophet among us. Yeah. At the end of the day, when everything's said and done, yep. we got to be the prophets. Wait a minute. When and we don't even like to say that to ourselves yeah. because we're trying to keep humility. Oh, right? Absolutely. You know? When the Apostle Paul saw, set up the ministry, did he call angels from heaven to set them? Or did he, did yeah, like he set in the movie man. Noah, Noah, <laughs> the angels. Do you know that fucking movie Noah is on YouTube for free? Oh, no. I started watching some of it, and I'm looking at the, the comments, and every comment said it would be good if they went by the scriptures. It's true. <laughs> and then we went, we saw that movie. We was all serious about it, and we said, "Yo, we said this is some bullshit, yeah, man. Yeah, we this is what's in the scriptures, man." Fucking two ball. Talking about yeah, uh, two ball cane yeah. sneaking on the ship. What's that? Eating lizard heads. Eating lizard, you know. Hold on, yeah, well, when the Apostle Paul said in the ministry... Lamet, do you have cherries? <laughs> Where's that in the scriptures? Yeah. You, did y'all see the movie? Yeah, oh, man, you got to say, hey, brother, see. that's like the worst movie ever. Ever, you know? Russell and then Noah, 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 Noah just bugged out. He wanted to kill his family and shit, you know? They, they, they like, when he was coming around there... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that in the scriptures, man? Nowhere in the scriptures. Hey, the Apostle Paul, man, when he set up the ministry, he say he clearly tells you uh, he set up uh, he set up uh, first apostles, you know the scriptures, yeah. secondarily teachers, right. then you know uh, uh, helps and government, yeah, Proph I think prophets is prophets, mentioned in yeah. that because the prophets are back. What are they gonna do? Aren't they gonna teach the prophets? So what are these guys talking about? Uh, you don't need men to, uh, you don't need to be part of a camp. And Anybody that makes a statement like that, the Lord is not dealing with you. God. You know, you're getting emotional. See, your problem is you don't know how to deal with men. That's, that's your problem. <laughs> hey, when you become a man of the Lord, first you got to be what? Amen. We got to be what? A man first. To be a man of the Lord, we got to be men first. We men, ain't we? We men. Go ahead. What we at? Romans 10 and 1. Go ahead. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer for the most high. I'm sorry. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer. Two the most high for israel is that they may be saved mm -hmm. for i bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge not according to knowledge which means you can have we can have that zeal but we got to speak sound doctrine you know the numbers got to add up if the numbers don't add up it ain't the truth right. go back to the word truth muff muff you know in math if the numbers don't add up it ain't the right you, you can't tell me two and two is five Ain't no goddamn way I'm gonna accept two and two being five. I know two and two is four. Right. So with these out of space doctrines, these guys are coming with, it's like they're trying to tell us two and two is five. No, 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 two and two is four. So get that doctrine right. You know, the scripture said, rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, go ahead. Verse three, for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness yep. and going about to establish their and own that's righteousness. That's what they do. They're ignorant to the most high's righteousness yep. and understanding these scriptures 
So they got to, somebody asked them, what does this mean? Yep. They got to make up something. This means X, Y, and Z, right? Right, right. Like uh, Revelation 13, 16. What does it mean? Uh, I mean, if you ain't saying anything but what it is, then, you know, the numbers ain't adding up. The Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you. Yeah. The, the, the mark is a physical thing. Go back to the Greek, karagma. There's only one other time karagma is written in the scriptures outside of Revelation. That's the book of Acts where the Apostle Paul says, we are sons of God, but don't look at God as a physical thing. You know, the, the most high didn't come down and have sex with our mother. We're sons of God through the spirit, yep. like it unto men that grave in gold or silver. Right. And that graving tool, that chisel, is what? A karagma. So they're going to chisel it into your hand. It's a physical thing, not a spiritual thing. And it's going into your, the word there is dex, dextrose, I believe, which literally means right hand. Not hand, but right hand. Right. So it's going to go in your physical right hand, right? And or your physical metapine or your forehead, your physical forehead. Because what is this guy talking about? Uh, Elon Musk? Yep. He said, 2022, I'm going to start putting it in men. Because he did it in pigs and different yep. Cyber -link. animals, right? Yes. Cyberlink, which he brought from another company. He said, well, because he wanted to do it, but the, uh, this thing, the corona, happened, so he was put on hold, yeah, suspended. But he wanted to do it back in night, uh, 2019, 2020, 2021. He said, 2022, I'm going to do it, you know? Yeah, and then Aaron, so, yep. Yeah, so how the hell can you get it any other way? You got to know when you read the scriptures, whether it's talking about, when you read it first, whether it's, whether it's a physical <laughs> thing, Spiritual. Or what is talking about the spiritual thing? Discernment. You could discern it, all right? Yeah, discernment. G give me uh, uh, what is that? Malachi three and sixteen, I think it is. Huh. Yeah, no, to add to a like Esau. Yep. You can't say you read about Esau and Edom and say, well, that's a demon. No, there ain't no demon. Esau is an actual person, right. and Esau <laughs> had kids. They tell you that he lay with an Ishmaelite woman, a Canaanite woman. Yep. So he had sons and daughters, and that became a nation. So we know that Edom is a physical thing. Absolutely. It's a physical people. Uh, Malachi 3. Israel is a physical thing. Yeah. Malachi 3 and 16. <laughs> then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. What's the book of remembrance? Somebody hold you. The book of remembrance is the scriptures. That's right. A, a book of remembrance. Uh, somebody want to read you? Uh, got you. Yeah, hold you, hold you. We're gonna read it in a minute. Okay. Go ahead. The book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought about. Hold up. A book of remembrance was written to give him before them for for who? For they that feared the Lord. Not no nigga on the street. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, you gotta know the Lord first to fear him. How can you fear the Lord if you don't know? Him? You know. Uh, uh, for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon His name. It's a cold cut to a certain group. Yeah, because the Most High gave us the name in the scriptures. If you if you say, well, we don't know the name of the Most High because we don't know the Hebrew, well, then you don't know the scriptures yeah. because there's certain words in the scriptures that you only get the understanding when you go into the Hebrew. Like uh, in uh, Job 20, when it speaks about the wicked, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Job 20, yep. And that thought upon his name. So, wait a minute, how the hell are we not going to have his name? when the prophecies say that thought upon his name. So that means we're going to be given the name and think upon it, Med meditate on it, revel in it, you know? It says, and that thought upon his name, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Spare them from what? From the nuclear destruction. The nuclear destruction, that, that's the main sparing. Which is the fire. What, what's that? Which is the fire. The fire, yeah, the fire. The fire that the Lord is coming with. Is it not written, uh, what's that, Luke 12 and 49, the Lord said, behold, I come with fire. Right? The Lord is coming with fire. Right? So that's what we're going to be spared from. And I say we, you know. Now, Jake, that don't know the scripture, they'll say, well, it's a spiritual fire. No, it ain't no spiritual <laughs> no, fire. fire. Because when you go to, uh, uh, 2 Peter 3, oh, oh. 
<laughs> about the fifth, sixth, seventh verse. Yeah. It speaks about the, you know, the, the, the two major deaths. Yeah. It's good. Revelation speaks about the second death. What's the second death? The second death is fire. The fire. first death, death is water. Yeah, if it was spiritual fire, Habakkuk, I think it was Habakkuk, he would not say, Lord, was you mad at the trees that you're right? Because it was a physical thing. It's physical. It was physical. Uh, it says, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Were you reading from still in Malachi? Yeah, Malachi okay. 3 and 17. Okay. By the way, you wacky tacky Christians, that's what it talks about being saved. Because you say you're saved. You're going to be physically saved. What do you mean you're saved? Not, you just wake up and I'm saved. <laughs> saved from what? Okay. What are you saying? I'm saved from a world of sin. <laughs> you're still but saved. Then you, but then you don't believe in the Lord, so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> totally messed up in the mind, man. Uh, the 18th verse. Then shall ye return. This is why Apostle Tom called from Scripture. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, even the Mount Israelites. So yeah. what does that mean? Yeah. You watch the different videos. You watch ISK, you watch IYC, you watch HOPC, you watch Minds of Israel, you watch the Bot, you know, you watch uh, Sakari, you watch GMS. Now you gotta have to uh, discern in the spirit. Yeah. How do you discern? Watch each video and see how they go on the scriptures, and you follow along with the scriptures, and then you go into the Greek, and you might ask, well, what's the Greek word for this? What's the Hebrew word for that? You got to ask, you got to inquire, man. You know? Anybody that asks a off question, guarantee you, when you click on it, there's no information. Yeah. No, you're going off. It really means this. Okay, well, he's a great teacher. Let me follow him. Yeah. Boom, there's nothing to follow. And the, and the Lord don't have a laid back, easy attitude about his word. If you got, he right. said, if they don't have my word, speak my word, what? Faithfully. So the Lord want his word spoken right. There's a scripture where Yahweh Shai said, be perfect even as your father. What does he mean by that? Man, when we teach the word, we're really supposed to be perfect with it. And, and the Lord don't accept no limitations, man. The Song of the Solomons, what is that all about? The Song of the Solomon is all about, it's poetry, but it's dealing with the Most High. Right, right. Like Solomon is like a woman and this husband, then he's, he's a man and he has a brother. So, so it's not talking about physical, you know, it's spiritual. Right. That's a, a parabolic book, right? right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to change subject, uh, say, change gears. Mm -hmm. Let's say you dig this chick, right? And you talk to her and she, nah. But then you go, you know where she lives, you learn how to play the guitar, you play serenade, guitar, serenade. serenade her, bring her flowers, and then eventually she falls in love with you. Right. right. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> or not, With you know, woman. but I wouldn't do that. I ain't gonna go. No, hell. Yeah. 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 Right, right, right. I ain't gonna do no shit like hell, that. I'm gonna say, how you doing? Can I get your number? No, I said, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> kiss my ass. I'll kiss my ass, big cow. Hope you have a bad Fat day. cow, you know. Yeah. Hope a building falling. Hope a building falling on you, bitch. But, no. but if you love the girl, right, she gonna be turning you away, we'll be playing, and then eventually she'll love you, right? Same thing with this book. It'll be a snowstorm. You out there playing, right? You know, she, damn, this man stay. He really loved me. Well, that's how you prove your love to the Most High. Right. When you take the whole winter off, I U I C. When you take the whole winter off, you ain't real for the Most High. Right. That's right. So I'm laughing. I'm laughing like crazy because I'm thinking of Tom. Tom serenading that that catch. That's what I was thinking. You ease or you ease, my baby. My baby, baby. No, in the cartoon, Tom and Jerry used. Serenade oh, that, that that female cat. So, so as Pastor was saying, I was. <laughs> but that's how we. Re hey, that's how we're really supposed to be. But wait a minute, is this knowledge not a song? Yep. So now, if you sing the song, who the hell go look? Look, right before Whitney Houston passed away, right? She she gave a concert in Australia. By this time, she had lost the voice, <laughs> and she was sounding terrible. And man, she was up there and trying to hit them high notes, and it just wasn't working. Yo, them people got mad. They interviewed them and said, look, I want my money back. All what they were saying. She couldn't sing, and those were her songs. She couldn't sing the song right. People weren't trying to hear it. So this is the Lord's song. We got to sing the song right. Got to sing it right. We got to sing the song right. You got to hit every note perfectly. Sweet singing. Right? The, what, the, 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 wait a minute, the Levite singers, 
they was they were singing so beautifully the most high that the down. angels, right? Did not the, the most angels, high came the, down. The, the most high came so down. The father came down. Yeah, did, well, we got to sing the song right. <laughs> the most high came down and, and, and was digging it. So that's the importance of singing the song right. You hear that? All you Israelite camps, you better sing that song right, man. A lot of you were singing, you sound like alley cats in, in, in the alley somewhere, man. You sing it all fucked up. You ain't singing the song right. And you can't say to the Most High, well, if I knew or the angel came, the angels are here. We're the angels. The angel just means messenger. Mala, malaka, malaka, which means messenger. We're bringing you the, we're angels and bodies bringing you this message, man. Teaching you to sing the song. But, right. you're, going, but you're not going to consider it, man, you bunch of niggas. Wouldn't it make sense? Well, wait a minute. These guys have been out in this thing for 36 years now, 37 yeah, years. Really? Them guys are out there all year long. They never miss a Saturday. They do it. And, but, but we're going in, we're teaching and we're going in the scripture, we're breaking out the going into Hebrew. Yeah. But you ain't going to consider it, man. Well, guess what? That's your fucking stuff. That's a stumbling, stumbling block for you, block. brother. That's it. That's a stumbling block. Because there's going to come a time where they're going to have them stations out there and you're going to be required to get a, a thing or you might get put to death, you might get put. It's happened in Australia. They don't want to take it. They put, okay, we're going to put you in the concentration camp. 14 days. If you ain't going to take it, another 14 days. So it's going, I see it coming to a point over here, man. That's why you got to endure to the end. Yeah. All right? That's why I said in, in, in uh, uh, Revelation 20, verse 4, that though the men of the Lord didn't take it. You know? They, some of them got their heads chopped off, man. It tells you in uh, Revelation 16, 15 and 16, that one of them, as if they have got the victory over the, the mark. Mm. What is the victory over the mark? They didn't take it. Right. And you think that Esau, Esau is going to tell you that this is the mark in Revelation? Hell no. no They'll say, the like some niggas, you know these, some people even believe it's the mark of the beast. Well, nigga, it is the mark of the beast. I got a precept. That's why we don't give a fuck about the two thirds. Exactly. The ones of you that can't make it, please walk on down the street yeah. so a missile can hit your ass. Yeah, like the, like the scripture goes, we have pipe for you. There, we're singing the song for you, and you have not danced. And we're singing the song perfectly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barsha Barsha, but you still have not danced. Anyway, uh, this is the back of what cost us in Isaiah 42 and, and 19. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant, seeing many things, but thou observest not. Like Elder Pastor, I was using the analogy. He's been in this truth 36 years, haven't taken a day off, you know, always in the work, constantly in the work. Wouldn't that be a sign of a man that's diligent, right? And the men under him that work with him in the ministry? Those are signs. So, Yahweh Shemel have given signs of guys, what's it say in Psalm 37? Mark the perfect man. Not saying that we're, you know, we're, we're perfect. We're perfect at, when it comes to the scriptures. So. Yeah, you know what that's I mean. That's why we say 100%. But it says, mark the perfect man, and behold that man. In, in the Apocrypha it says, you, if you find a, a wise man, where, what, where the steps uh, rise, well, go to him be times, in early, and wear out the steps of his door, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Right, so you got signs. What used to be guys yeah. like Ariad. Well, Ar you can't go ask Ariad nothing. Ariad, he's messed up in the, in the head, man. You know, the spirit ain't working with him right now. Nope. You got tell those the spirit, filthy garments. Right, he's wearing those filthy, filthy garments. The most I got to put the spirit back in him. Look, Marty ain't working with uh, pre High Priest Shaw because he's following our reality. And they both going off, man. Yeah. They ain't teaching that the market, you know what, this clown, the comforter toy, he did a class on the market of beast. He said, you know what the market of beast is? He said, it's socialism. I remember that. That's what that nigga said. He said, it's, that's why the niggas pushing daisies, man. Oh, oh, that's why the niggas were food. Yeah. Well, Apostle Tom mentioned high priest Arya, and that reminds me what Apostle Paul said that we ought to think think of men more highly, highly than, than right. don't think of, men, think of men more, more highly. highly. Yeah. yeah. Back yeah. in the day, you brothers don't know. Back in the day, high priest Arya was looked at as he was Yahweh Shai himself. Certain guys were looking at him like he was Yahweh Shai himself. Right. Yeah. Uh, high, high priest Arya was teaching. <laughs> uh, Praying the angels, man. Yeah. Which was good. Which was good. My Akala. Yeah, yeah. Shakwalium. Yeah. Kasapium. Rabium. Yeah. My Akala. 
Michael, Gabriel. And I'm like, that's not, that's also, that's in the scripture. You ain't supposed to praise angels, man. Yeah. And that's why we tell brothers, look, okay, well, the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit. We teach it. But don't put us on no fucking pedestal. Like the Apostle Paul said, not to think of men more highly than you ought yeah, to think. Yeah, just honor us as teachers. These guys are teachers. They're teachers, and that's you it. Know? Yeah, that's you it. know, with the Holy Spirit, good. But to, to pedalize us and make us like they were doing the high priest, they were actually doing that, the high priest, sorry. You know? And that's why the look now, the, the scriptures say, the heavenly, shallow one, brothers. The scriptures say the heavenly father is what? A jealous power. Yeah. Is it not written he's a jealous power? Yeah. So when he was seeing this, he wasn't pleased. You know, he wasn't pleased. So he, he kind of took high priest Ariad down a notch. You, yep. know? you saw my comment that, hey, you saw my comment that I left to you? Uh, I left your, you did the live stream Thursday. I left the comment, I put Shalom. Oh, my dad, my dad saw it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, so what's the moral? The moral is, you know, you have good teachers and the Holy Spirit, good. But don't be pedestalizing them. You still gotta work out the, your own The bottom salvation. line is this, in a nutshell, you learn from men that's going to teach you. you right. Learn from the teachers. You keep learning. You keep learning until you become a teacher. Yeah. Then you become a teacher. You know. And then you teach other men so that they can become teachers, man. Yeah. This is not like we've been saying. This is, we're not here to entertain you, man. Yeah. You know, you got some people that watch the, the, the things and they got a, a pot. They'll put Bowl the popcorn. They'll put the popcorn yeah. uh, emoji. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, one sister yeah. does that. I mean, that's a sister. I mean, yeah, a woman. But if a dude does that, it's, it's, I got my popcorn. You know. Yeah, that's not wrong. And there's one guy years ago, we came back in 08, 09. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. one guy said, he said, I got my popcorn ready. Yeah, yeah. And I got my spliff ready. Yeah. I'm going to watch this here video. <laughs> <laughs> I got a scripture since you said that. Uh, Ezekiel 33. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 30, it says, uh, Oh, somebody hold uh, Isaiah 30, verse 20. Right. I'll get Ezekiel 33 and 30, it says, Also thou son of man, the children of, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Entertainment. A lot of these guys come and listen for entertainment purposes only, man. They just get entertained by that. They're not going to grow a beard necessarily. They might grow a beard. But they're going to do things, they're going to do their worldly shit that they do, you know? Yeah. So, the most I ain't dealing with those type of people. Yeah. You're learning so you can become teachers. The, the, um, uh, who was that? Uh, it was a prophet said, oh Lord, I heard thy words and I trembled, right? So when we hear the Lord's words, we're really supposed to be trembling within our spirit. Well, the Apostle Paul said that, not if you just quote it, yeah. Apostle Paul said, um, Knowing the terrors of the Most High, I therefore persuade men, meaning teach men. The Apostle Paul had a fear for the Most High. Yeah. A lot of these guys ain't got no fear for the they Most no High. Fear. You know? And then the Lord said in Jeremiah 5, You fear ye not me? Will you not tremble at my presence? So what's getting ready to happen, by the time it finished, all the world will fear. <laughs> you better believe. All the world will fear the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Time of Jacob's trouble. The terror that the Lord is coming with, man. You know, hey, wait a minute. At when Yahushua, right before he gave up the spirit, when he was on the cross, you had that centurion standing right next to the cross. When he saw the thunder and the lightning, and the, he said, truly, this man was the son of God. Now, what motivated him to do that? Fear, man. He said, man, that Yahushua was on the cross. He bowed his head, gave up the spirit. He saw that thunder and the lightning and the darkness. He saw the darkness. Because it said what darkness was upon them. Yeah, for because you had hours. that eclipse. You had the eclipse. Yeah. So, so he, he, man, he, he was something motivated him to say that. And you know what? 
he could be one of the elect. As a matter of fact, I believe he's he one might, of the he elect. Be, he could be. Could he be. was sealed right there by, be. because the Apostle Paul said confession. The man on the cross, the one man on the cross. Yep. Was sealed. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the, the other uh, 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 benefactor. Yep. Yep. Because uh, the Apostle Paul said confession um, confession is made unto salvation. So what did the man say? He said, truly this was the son of the Most High, the son of God. So he confessed as he was looking at Yahweh Shai on the cross. Hey, them no. wicked scribes and Pharisees that came against uh, the Lord, they're back here now, and they, trust me, none of them are of the elect. Nope. None of them. Nope. They're either Baptist preachers or politicians or whoever, no. celebrities, and they're all going to get destroyed. Yeah, the ones that slap you, how we shy. Oh, they're going to really get fucked up. They're going to get Prophesy tortured. Prophesy to us. They're going to get tortured. Oh, my goodness, man. They're going to get tortured forever. Prophesy unto us. Who slapped you? Then they put the crown of thorns on it. And, and the how shy going to show them that? And they, oh, man. Can you imagine you seeing yourself as you were back 2,000 years ago? And you're putting a crown of thorns on the spot. How you, man, think about it. How are you going to feel, man? You're gonna, man, you're going to feel lower than shit. And a lot of these police, I believe, while uh, you got this thing happening out there in uh, the West Coast with the major shops in Nordstrom's and Beverly Hills, Jake is just going down there smashing shit. And the reason why the cops ain't doing that because a lot of them cops are scared. Because they know Jake will, Jake will run a cop over, man. Judah shall be a... They'll shoot a cop, man. Oh, they shot this, what well, was it, a trailer somewhere where it's a woman cop. And uh, some Jake just blew her ass away, man. That's that spirit that the most had putting on Judah. You know, wild bull in the net, man. Rousing him up. Well, he said that in Genesis 49. Uh, who shall rouse him up? Meaning Judah. And the most has rousing him up. Jake, God. Jake is like, fuck this Esau. Yep. Fuck Esau, man. The Esau. And it's only gonna escalate. You wait as Esau. Oh, 2022. Yeah. 2020, <laughs> watch the jump. I mean, I'm saying that out of you know man's mind. You think everything's going to calm down? Hell no. no oh, everything's going to get turned up. Turn up. Turn up. Jake, and, and Jake's anger is directed to two people mainly. The so-called white man and the so-called black woman. And the black woman. The black woman ain't nobody with a black woman, man. Ain't nobody with a fucking black woman. You so-called black woman, man, if I were you, I'd be trembling in my... I would be trembling. Because more and more Jake are waking up and they've seen all the bullshit. That and you, they'll kill you in a minute. And yeah. they will get you, You got man. these Jakes out here that will kill you in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go back to reading. It says, And lo, thou art unto them, Ezekiel 33 and 32, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this What does it mean to do them? You hear enough, then you teach. Yeah. Right. You know, 10 years, you say, yep. you on the coin, you coming by. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you ain't got no bed on your face. You don't go to the heat. The, the, you don't honor the Sabbath. You don't go to the Passover. Nothing like that. You just come out. Ten years. You ain't learned the damn thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I got a quick piece of That's like that fig tree with no fruit. How was was It says he was on hunger, and he came to the fig tree. There was no fruit. What did he do? Bless the fig tree? He cursed it. And the fig tree died right there and then. Yeah, just like a couple. You got it. Possible. This is um, James chapter 2. I'll just go straight to verse 20. But will thou know, o, o vain man, that faith without works is dead? Yeah, what is the works? What we're doing, man. And we're not doing it to become some celebrity on YouTube. YouTube to us is just a medium that the Lord is using to publish His word. And now we're going to us. Now we're going to honest. You know how many followers I have? And if I read the number right, oh, yeah, I believe I have five hundred over five hundred followers, man. Because I keep saying, go to go to Odyssey. Open up a thing in Odyssey. Yeah. Controversy videos, you can put them on Odyssey, they ain't gonna mess with you, man. You know? Until like you said on in one of your videos, you said, until we decide uh, 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 beating up Odyssey, then they're gonna start taking <laughs> You know what I mean, beating up Odyssey, putting all that truth on it's truth. That's one thing. Hey, we but saw. they got um they got this guy, uh, this guy, uh, what's his name from Boston? Oh, uh, 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 uh what's his name? Vinny, Vinny from Boston? Yes. Yeah, Richie. Richie. Richie from Boston? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got his videos on there. They ain't taking it down. But it, and they took him, they took him down. Well, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. What you said that in the video. 
then Fugu buys them out. Yeah. Then they're gonna start, you know, cause all of them eating Mike controversial videos, man. Yep. They're not even. They're like fuck. Fuck the goddamn YouTube. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause eventually Esau gonna want to destroy this truth. You know why? Because this truth is gonna destroy him. So his attitude is, I gotta destroy this truth before this truth destroys me. Cause that's how he gonna be destroyed by this truth. Too late. But it, yeah. And we understand that. You don't want. You don't want to go into slavery. No, you want exactly. to try to push this thing as far as you can. We get it, Esau. We understand you, Esau. You know that it yeah. only makes sense that you're fighting this thing, but you're yeah. fighting a losing battle. But you're fighting a losing battle. This is a spiritual war. Yeah. Warfare. It's, it's you're a physical man. This is spiritual. <laughs> spirit, the spiritual power is greater than the physical power. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Absolutely. that's why he's dismantling them by the word first. Yeah, your power is carnal, Esau, but our power is spiritual. Now, who, who's the greatest? Physical, uh, not physical, spiritual, spiritual power. Spiritual. Spiritual power is greater than carnal power. Your power is tanks and guns and you, you homo sapiens yeah, and your you guns. <laughs> the average nigga think a gun is the ultimate Now, power. Now, Yo, Magneto, Magneto, and Magneto and them, Magneto and them, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were supposed to be the, the bad guys, right? Yeah. Who was you really rooting for? Magneto. Magneto. You were rooting for the bad guys. Yeah. Huh? You know, the man is still, yep. when uh, uh, when uh, uh, General, Cap Zod? General Zod came General down, Zod, yeah. you, were, you, you were like, fuck, fuck Superman, yeah, yeah. with an Uncle Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they said that, General Zod, man. He said, you got to get here, not used to our atmosphere. Because he got on the, on the ship, and it was the Captain Knight atmosphere, <laughs> and he got all sick. And then General Zod looking out like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know? He said, you ain't used to our atmosphere. Nigga, you ain't about us. You about these... Models and shit, man. Yeah. These meat yeah. puppets. Yeah, these meat puppets. They're all they're meat puppets, man. Meat puppets. Even even in the, the Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man. Yeah. With the William the Fold guy. Yeah, 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 the goblin, the green goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you yeah, say? Yeah, 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 yeah. These people don't give a shit about you. <laughs> yeah. And then he made sense, man. Yeah, he's, he was breaking it down. He said, look, they, they exist to so that we can sit on their shoulders. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Oh, that's true. That's true. You know? And it's always going to be that way. You're always going to have your elites. You're always going to have your peons, man. You're always right. going to have up and you're always going to have down. Hey, well, that's why the, the beast that carried the woman, the, the, the European nations are carrying the woman on their shoulder. Yeah. You know? Yep. See, right yeah, now. The beast that carried her right. is talking about America. Who's yeah. carrying America? NATO. The NATO. NATO forces. Yep. See, right now. But then they're ultimately yep. going to shoot missiles on it, eat her ass up and fight. That's it. Yeah. See, right now, we're on the bottom. Now, through this knowledge, we're going to be what? Right. Taken to the up. top, baby. Yeah. We're going Keep to the top. And they stood upon their feet. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them that saw us. Yeah. Exactly. So really, the elite are really scared of us. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Because they know everything that we're saying is coming to pass. Yeah. They know where the prophets, they know they know the deal. That's why they will not put us on their media. They won't put us on their media because they, they... But we don't even want to go on their yeah. fucking media. We not got that we want to, you yeah. fucking devils. Yeah, but I'm just making that point. Is If these guys were to get on the media and bring out this truth that they're bringing out, man, come on. Casting down imaginations, what's it say in 2 Corinthians 10? Mm -hmm. Casting and everything, every, every high thing that exalted itself. Exalted. We what would do gets. that, that's what we would do through this truth. Not, well, we, but the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai working through us. Yes, sir. I have a precept. Yeah. I, I got to say that. We got that some precepts on deck. Yep. Uh, this, is like, talk. Let's go back this is Isaiah precepts. 13 and 11. It says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogant sea of the proud to cease. He saw. He saw. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. They're terrible because they have military might. That's the only reason why this dollar, the, the world reserve currency, is a uh, is a uh, uh, Federal Reserve note. But you got the chi China and Russia. They got their own <laughs> deals going. Right. Why? Sure. Because they have believe they have a, a, a military mightier than America. You know, let the weak say I'm strong. At one time, China was the weak. They looked down on China. Right. They had they they brought Chinese people over here to work on the railroad. There was a saying, "Not a Chinaman's chance." Chance. Yeah. Because yeah. they would put him down in a thing and put a dynamite. If they didn't pull him up fast enough, he would explode. So they were losing. They were using the Chinese man. 
Yep. So the Chinese, look, every nation remembers the, the history of the other nation that took them down. The Japan, Japanese, Japan, Hiroshima. They Nagasaki. got a museum, Hiroshima, Nagasaki Museum. Mm. So they're reminded of it, what Esau did every day. Okay. Yeah, Esau has the power. Esau has the power, and he wants to keep the power. Because right. at the end of the day, it's all about power. Right. You can talk all the talk you want, but who got the power? Right. If this guy got the power. <laughs> guess what? You got to kiss his ass. Right. Why? Because he got the power. Yep. He'll fuck you up if you fuck with him. Yep. So yep. We're, we're getting that power, man. It's the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, I was gonna say it's funny because it was Yahweh Shah who gave Esau the power. It's gonna be Yahweh Shah to take Esau's power away. That's right. You're gonna strip him, strip him. I got, I got a quick piece. Yep, you got, yeah. yeah. Uh, Revelation 13 and 4. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast saying, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? Yeah. Going yeah. back to, you know, they got their power, you know, the yeah, military they're might. The top banking families, yeah. they, they finance both sides, they're creating the wars, you know. The top banking families, they're the ones that want to, that want to chip everybody. Pursuant to what Aaron Russo said, Aaron Russo got it from the horse's mouth. Nick Rockefeller, you know, Nick Rockefeller told him, look, we want, and he said it with, 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 with pride. We want everyone chipped. Come on, man. <laughs> that's it. That was it. You, you got it. And that's what the mark uh, of the beast is, you stupid Israelites out there, right? That's, that's what the mark Pretty of the beast is, that chip. Okay. Oh, Talking about the mark of the beast is sleeping with white women, or the mark of the beast is sin. If you keep teaching that crap, your how about Shemiah Shai is going to destroy you, man. What are you going to make you take the chip first, and then you want to destroy you? Where we at? You, know. you wanted to go, go through uh, Romans 10. 10. Yeah, let's go to Romans 10 and start from the top. Okay. Okay. Romans 10 and 1, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. We're talking about national Israel. Go ahead. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of, of um, the Most High's righteousness, and going about to establish their own like righteousness. The churches. Yeah. These other Perfect. groups, the Moors, the Kemetic people, they're going out to establish their own righteousness. Yeah. All Jakes is pretty much spiritual. Yeah. In the hip hop world, when they win a Grammy, first one I like to thank is God. God yeah. What God are you talking about? <laughs> are you, you talking about Vulcan? Are you talking about Caesar Bosch? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. What's the righteousness of the Most High? It's true. The, the, the scriptures and the way we teach it. Yep. We're, we teach it. we're them guys. We're the guys. And y'all too. Y'all too. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. For Yahweh Shai the, is the end. The reason end. why we're the guys is Yahweh Bashim Yahshai saw fit to make us those guys. John the Baptist said a man cannot receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. That's what John the Baptist said. So we were given this knowledge. We were given this truth. This is grace shown by Yahweh Shem Yahshai to us, you know? You got it, bro. For Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Yeah, but it's the best way to live, live by the law. The law is common sense, man. When the Lord said not to eat pork, that's common sense. Practice. If you don't eat pork, you can save yourself from a lot of diseases if you don't eat pork. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Meaning now, let me say this. The law is important, but we're not going to be delivered because we keep the law. Right. We're going to be delivered because we have the faith. And because we have the faith, we keep the law. All right? Because right. that's a vocab. And they say the only way you can make it is by keeping the law. We never said that. Right. He'll, he'll make a statement from one Israelite group and he'll take a broad brush. Yeah. And, and that's the Israelite. deception of the of a, of a goddamn devil. Right? Mm. Well, another deception is we got Israelites that look like straight up like so-called white people. Does he ever mention that? He was a, you black Hebrew Israelites. Wait a minute, you get a brother that looks like a straight up so-called white man right. and he's proclaiming as a, he's an Israelite. Is he a black Hebrew Israelite? Right. Huh? Is he a black Hebrew Israelite? He looks like a straight up so-called white man. But that's that deception, man. That's that fucking deception. Black Hebrew Israelite. Go ahead. Bro. But the righteousness which is of faith 
speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Yahweh down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is, to bring up Yahweh again from the dead. But what saith it? The word... Oh, that is to bring the Yahweh Shai up from the dead. Where's that in Hebrews? It's either Hebrews 6 or Hebrews 10. Uh, um, I got it written down. I can't. It's either Hebrews 6 or Hebrews 10. Um, taste of the uh, oh, six. The good. The good. Oh yeah, six and four. To, to, six and four. To six open the four, most high. Yeah. To open shame. That's what that means. To bring right. them back up. Bring them back up. You got to die again for me. I'm ready to receive. Right, right, right. No, the Lord ain't gonna come and die for you. Right. Because of you. All right, go ahead. He died once. Exactly. And these Christians use that word. Um, he died once, and then after that, the judgment. The judgment. It ain't talking about man. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. Right. That he only died one time. Right, right. That's also in Hebrews, in, in the same chapter. Go, go right to the point. Uh, Hebrews 6 and uh, 5. Well, yeah, 5. And have tasted the good word of, of the Heavenly Father and the powers of the world to come. Start at one. I'm sorry. Read okay. quick. Start at one. Hebrews six and one. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines, of, the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, let us go into perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance. What's from... what's the perfection? To be a t the perfection is not being in the audience, you know, eating popcorn, right. drinking soda, you know. The perfection is going out there teaching. For the perfection teaching of perfectly. the saints. Right. The, you know, the teachers for the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting right. of the saints. Teaching yep. perfectly. Yep. Right. Can't be teaching mermaids and shit. You right. call yourself a man yeah, of war. That ain't them, perfection. GOCC, anybody that's following them, you got fucking mental problems. Teaching in the name of Jesus, most high, most high in Christ, blessed. What the fuck is that? Yeah. That ain't perfection. Uh, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, let us go unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith toward the Heavenly Father. Yeah, you got some of these guys, you don't see them for a year, then they come back and they'll say, we're back. <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> when do we ever made a video talking about we're back? Because we never left. Right. Back. If you left, you can't come back. Yes. That's go? perfection. <laughs> Where'd you go? Wait a minute, if you striving for perfection, you ain't going to fucking leave. You know, you're going to hang in there until you attain perfection. A guy that boxes, right, he comes up in the ranks, he's 10 and 0. And he takes five years off when he comes back, he's gonna start losing fights. <laughs> the reason why Floyd is 50 and old because he Perfection. perfected it, man. No? Hard work, there you see it. Hard, hard work, work dedication. dedication. Perfection, man. Of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this will we do if the Heavenly Father permit. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the word of the heavenly Father and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto... What does it mean, fall away to renew them again? Go back into the world, take a break, disappear for 10 years, then come back. You're not accepted, man. You, you can't come back. All you got to do is just, you got to taste the missiles. That's, it. That's the only thing you're going to taste is the missiles. That's it. You're going to taste a, a warhead. Go ahead. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Heavenly Father fresh and put Meaning, it. nigga, I want you to come back down and go back on the cross and let them Romans beat the hell out of you and spit on you and kick you in the ass. That ain't going to happen. All right, and then whip you, and then throw you on a spike you on that damn cross, and you got to die again. You got to feel that pain. You think the Lord's gonna do that? No. It's appointed. That's why I said it's appointed under. It was appointed a man died once. Yeah. Which is talking about Yahweh Shai. Right? So he's not gonna come back and die for you again. You're just gonna have to accept the fact that you're gonna die. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get fired up, man. Yeah, all what Apostle said right before he did it, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was sweating blood, man, <laughs> thinking of all what he had to endure before he endured it. So you think he's going to come and do it again? That makes any sense? No, it doesn't. 
Because if he does, what if he says, I'm going to do it again for this guy? I like this guy. Oh, well, guess what? The new nigga is going to come up and you might have to do it a third time. <laughs> then you're going to have to do it every fucking generation. You think the Lord's going to do that? No. He's going to kill your fucking ass, man. <laughs> I have to say it in that, you know, in way. It's easier to kill you than to do it again. <laughs> this is not no game. You can't, you don't you be playing the most out like that. No. no. Like some brothers, they say, be playing the most out like a side bitch. Huh? 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, if they shall fall again to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Heavenly Father fresh, and put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, meet for them by whom it is dressed, uh, receiveth blessing from the Heavenly Father. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. And is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Like so Talking about Israelites, they go yeah. off. The ones of you that turn your back on the plow, you ain't doing this work. You think this is a joke? You get, you do it when you get around to it. Oh, it's too cold. Most I just go, okay, look, put him over there and burn his ass when the time comes. Is there more to that? Um, nah, I guess let's, that's the let's, point. Let's that's go the point. to uh, let's go to Hebrews three verse ten. Read down to the end and then go right to Hebrews 4 and 1. Hebrews 3 and 10. Everybody that falls off this, from this truth, what is the main reason why they fall off from this truth? Lack of faith. Lack of faith. Uh, Hebrews 3 and 10. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, <coughs> They shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Lack of faith. Lack of faith. All these guys that came in when we came on uh, YouTube in 2000, July of 2007, you had guys come in, they were watching, and then uh, 2008, 2009, they started coming in. 2014 goes by, 2015, you had guys starting to they broke off and did their own thing. Oh, the spirit ain't dealing with you, elders. The spirit is dealing with me. You got to come up with me. And then they get killed. Well, the first guy, the major, the first major guy that did that was who? The top in Chicago. He was the head of Chicago, and he said, "Look, I ain't taking no for an answer. You know, you got to deal with me and all this. You breaking this down wrong." And we said, "Okay, brother, you can go." Then he was scoffing, talking shit, and all of a sudden he disappeared. And you had a bunch of guys, you had hundreds of guys do that, come up against us. Sarge. And where are they now? When Sarge. they get kicked out or, or when they leave, they'll talk shit about us, they'll scoff. Every video is about us. But then it comes to the point that you don't see them no more. And then you go to their page, their page ain't there no more. Because they're not the men of the Lord. So the most I said, okay, you fulfilled the scoffing part. So now I'm going to put you in this category. This category is where you're going to get fired up by the yep. missiles. Yep. And guess what? They're going to be calling, oh, yeah, how about it? the how it <laughs> And the missiles are going to keep coming. They're going to see Jake being beamed up in the oh, ships. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to get, yeah, how about it? me how it's shy. Beat me up. Warm from... me up, shout out. <laughs> yeah, how about it? me how it's shy. Beat me up. Beat me up. <laughs> Beat me up, Lord. They're going to get fired up. And then the ships are going to leave. And then they said, man, they're going to look that way. The missiles are going to be coming. And the next thing, the next thing he's conscious to, he's in the spirit world. The Where Lord. am I? The angel's going to be saying, you in the spiritual world, nigga. <laughs> Get used to it. And the Heavenly Father going to have him feel that fire, too. Right? Oh, yeah, like, hey, like the, the song. Like, like, like feel the fire. Yeah, uh, yeah, people price it. Hey, feel the fire. Hey, that's how you be purified. You got to feel the fire, man. Yeah, and like us, we're going through the fire right now, right? Yeah. This is the fire we're going through, so we're feeling it, man. So they, them motherfuckers, they got to feel the fire, too. You know? Go ahead. You said you had yeah, yeah, I wanted to get... Uh, to, uh, and then, then we're only talking about Israelites. We're not talking about the other nations. We're only talking about Israelites. Because Israelites will be set on fire, too. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, how's that trip to go? The Lord has a sacrifice. He's going... Every sacrifice shall be salted, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Season you up. Yeah, season, you gotta get seasoned up. And that's that fire, man. You're coming to this truth, you're catching all that hell, that's that fire. 
You're getting seasoned up. Most I flipping you like a piece of meat on the. On the <laughs> and after a while, you get used to it. Then, yeah. Then after a while, he picks you up. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Put it away. You know. It's like silver. You shine it until yep, you can silver. see yourself. Yep. yep. I got some real quick. Go ahead. Yep. Second Peter two and nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Okay. Read again. Okay. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Reserve the unjust. Wow. Where is that you reading from? Uh, 2 Peter 2 and 9. It says, But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they self-willed yeah because the heavenly father set up a government the government of uh like he calls it mashara yashal the real government of yeah Israel. that's the uh, mashara yashal is not the government of the Lord's yeah remember just a bunch of negroes that got together uh, yeah they're trying to make money and use the truth as a yeah yeah that's, a, that's like they, they, this guy from rock with his gimmicks yeah all he got all that dude got is gimmicks man mashara you know? yashal come on this is what you're supposed to be doing out here teaching. That's it. You know? It says, presumptuous are they. Yep. Self-willed. Self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Yeah, the Heavenly Father set up dignities. Beginning with uh, Elder Pastor on down. Yeah, with dignities. Yep. That's why that brother had that, you saw the video, the brother had the drink. Pastor sitting at the table and the man, the tall man with the afro, he said the short afro, big beard, came and handed him a suitcase with all kinds of pieces of jewelry in it and that represented the truth you know you've seen the video so that's the dignity that Yahweh Shem Yashai has set up we didn't set ourselves up and we didn't tell brothers to say double honors to the apostles we didn't tell them to say that all of a sudden they started saying that so that's the Holy Spirit Go ahead. it says whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord but these as natural brute beasts, natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. That's heavy, and, man. So those guys, they were brought in the truth to be judged. They were brought in the truth and then they, they wiped their feet off the truth and did what they did. Now they can be judged now. Now they have, okay, now I got you. Remember, we always say this is chess, not checkers. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count ple counted pleasure to riot in the daytime, yep. spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. That's these scoffers, these scorners, scoffers. Having eyes full of adultery and, uh, and that cannot cease from sin, sin. beguiling unstable souls. Yep. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. Cursed children. Which have forsaken the right way. See? They were once in the truth. Which have forsaken the right way. So they had the right way and they forsook it. But that was their judgment. That's why we're supposed to fear Yahweh Shem Yahshah. Because he can do that to you. He can bring you in and use the truth to destroy you, man. Or he could use the truth to build you up. Either or. Which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam the son of Bozor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass speaking with man's yeah, voice. Going back to Balaam and Bela. But was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water. Yeah, some of these guys are speaking straight up madness. And who's the prophet in that right there? That's our Balaam. That, uh, uh, Bel Bel which he was born the Israelite. Yeah. So right. can you have uh, prophets that are not Israelite? Yeah. Yeah. That's an prophets. example. Yeah. But, well, he was a, he was a true prophet. Yeah, he yeah. He did prophesy. Well, yeah, I was. I was yeah. I, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, you got come, false yeah. prophets. Well, you got yeah. false prophets among Jacob. Yeah, yeah. False and you got you got yeah. Edomites and other nations that have visions that are true visions. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the madness of the prophet, like a guy teaching that. John the Baptist fell out the truth. <laughs> That's your example. Man. You got it, brother. These are wells without water. They're wells without water, man. They ain't got the truth. Clouds, clouds that are carried with the tempest, 
to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swollen words of vanity, they are lured through the lust of the flesh. Through much wantonness, those that will clean escape from, the, from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same as he brought into bondage. Yeah, and your examples today are these false Israelite groups, these false teachers, man. That's, the, that's our example. These Christians, yeah. these Moors, these Kemetic people, all of them are going, they're going to all be destroyed. Because none of them is teaching that America is going to be destroyed. What book is teaching that America is going to be destroyed? Outside of the scriptures. Yeah. The uh, Kibani, Kibani guess ain't yeah, teaching it. Yeah. The, uh, Geldum, ep the epic of Gelgamesh. Yeah. The Egyptian book of the dead. Egyptian book of the dead. Because yeah, this guy, uh, what was his name? Uh, Polite. He mentioned it. Epic uh, Gilgamesh. He brought that up because he got that from this guy. There's no, that says, what does it speak about America? Where does it mention either? It ain't in there, man. So he never had the truth. And that's sealed in that guy. And, all, and, and he's going to be destroyed, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And remember, brothers, in 1 Peter 4 and 17, let's not forget, judgment will start where? Those that know that they're Israel. House of Israel. House of Israel. So all these all these fake phony groups out there, judgment's gonna start with them. So don't be surprised you start seeing guys getting killed horrifically, these yeah. other Israelite groups. Hey, well you just you might have just made a prophecy, man. Yeah. Most high might start well 2022. Yeah. Things are gonna get turned up. And, and uh, you know, scripture said uh, we we give diligence to uh, make our call and election show, but also because of the terror of the Lord. We want to be on the right side. We don't want to be on the wrong side. Give diligence to make that call and election sure. That's right. You know, King David said it best. He said, let let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And how much in your shot. Mm. That means teaching this truth. The words of my mouth and the meditation, meaning our, even our thoughts, be right with your heart. And Joshua said, as, as far as me and my house, we shall, uh, oh, the we shall fear. He said, Yahweh. Because when that judgment comes, brothers, when the Lord, please don't bring that judgment on me. Because you're going to see the way the Lord's going to take out. If you're paid to be judged, you're going to get judged. Yeah. But our thing is, we, Yahweh, Bash, and Yahshai, in thy wrath, how the prophet said, in thy wrath, remember what? Mercy. Remember mercy. Because he's going to bring that wrath out because here. Because you have mercy on us. It's the yeah. He gonna bring that wrath, man. We want him to have, Lord, you know, remember, I gave my life to this, you know, I was out here, I did your work, I made sure I taught the right thing. Have mercy on me, don't put that judgment. Yeah, man. Precept. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Isaiah 13 and nine. Yeah, cause we gotta explain it that way so people can get it, man. You know, that's our job. You know, we're, we're trying to project the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahshah onto you brothers out there, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahshah has nothing to play with, man. Yeah, this guy, ASAP said in the video, the recent video, you know that video that brothers been putting up about Nate, all those different cuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, uh, ASAP said, those guys, they're teaching that they're confirming people's heart. You, yeah, you got that right. That's the main thing. Yeah, if you have your heart, you're supposed to put the fear in your heart. Man. To, what's wrong with We're that? We're supposed to tell you if you don't do this A, B, and C, you're going to get destroyed. Right. So you can either not say, well, I'll fuck you all up. You can say, damn, I better get my meat pray and fast. This is all about fear, man. Whether they hear or forbear. Yep. the precept for your apostles. It's good to say the pre their precept towards me are taught by the precept of men. So they're teaching their thing. They, they you know this means that I U I so don't teach that. We teach this. You you can only have one wife. That's clearly not of the most high. That's clearly not of the most high. What what else are they right. teaching? Teach a lot of things. They say you can. Crap. If you got, if you got, if they find out that you got another woman on the side, they gonna kick you out. The, kick you out the uh, IUIC. If you have, a and, then, and then you're gonna get blotted from the book. Oh, <laughs> book no. of life. If you got the book, an the IUIC book of life. <laughs> the, the, if you have an unbelieving wife, you gotta kick. Her. Oh, if you have an unbelieving wife, you gotta. She gotta become a believer. That's not scriptural. But the main thing is accepting Jesus Christ. Man. 
How the hell does that work? I got this. Uh, That's why listen. we don't give a fuck about these other people, man. The only ones we're concerned about is the elect, the true brotherhood. It says in Amos 3 and 7, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants and prophets. If his name is a secret, would he not reveal it unto us? Exactly. Would we not know the name of the Father and the Son? Yeah, and but the most I says throughout the scriptures, he want to be glorified, his name to be glorified. How you he he wants you to call yeah. on, on his name. If you don't know the name. But then he's not going to give you the name. It doesn't make sense, man. That makes him, that, that would make him a stupid God. He's not a stupid God. Jeremiah 16, 16. Seek ye the old paths, right? And walk ye in them. In the old days, the old paths, we knew the name of the Lord and the name of his son. So we get the Lord, is, the name is given back to us. And that's also, we were reading Romans 10. That's also in Romans 10. Go right to the point. Okay. Romans 10, 13. All right, Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But we don't have his, But his name is Jesus Christ. Right. Jesus. His name ain't no motherfucking Jesus Christ. Right. Motherfucking Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. You know? Jesus. You're supposed to know the now. You know that the letter J didn't come about till 1524. Right. right. So that's when the Lord came on the scene, 1524. Now you might say, well, we really don't know the name. So is that the name? Why would you call him Jesus? Yeah, right. why Jesus? Right. Why, right. why would you call him Jesus? Right. The Lord said this, the Lord will do nothing but he will reveal of his secrets unto his servants and prophets. Right. The Lord it? has secrets. Who is he going to give it to? The prophets. prophets. Yeah, prophets yeah. Because what is the prophets going to do? They're going to tell it, tell it on the mountain, so to speak. Right. You know? Yeah. One of the first things the Lord gave to Moses was what? His name. Right. He said, the first thing that Moses asked for right. was your name. So right. I might who tell the people. Say? Right. You right. Gonna say so when the people ask me who was this God's right. name, right. Right. he didn't say I am that I am. He made that statement, but that wasn't his name, like these clowns in the TOCC. So wait a minute. If these people who come lead, to... Who lead silly captain, right. woman, silly captain, yeah. woman, right. laden, laden with, with sin. Laden with sin. sin. So if these people came to Apostle and said, look, tell me what is the name of God. It's true now. I don't heard this. I don't heard that. Mm -hmm. What is the apostle to say to that? I'm going to say, you how is the same thing? Is how is the there you go. And then I'm going to show him. I'm going to go to the yeah. blue letter. I'm going to go to this book. I'm going to go to that book. Yeah. I'm going to go to the Hebrew. There you and go. you can't understand the 100% truth unless you know the Hebrew and the Greek. Kind that don't mean you got to speak it fluently. Right. Everything starts with a name, man. Right. Then you got to tell them the, the true character, because the world teaches us God is all love. That's all he does is love. Yeah. Love, 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 That's love, love. That's what them stupid-ass Christians teach. That's not they the truth. They know one scripture by heart. For God so loved the world. Yeah. Yeah. God so loved the world. That, he loved. You don't even understand that. And to fully understand that, you got to know the Greek. The word world. What is the difference between the word world in John 3.16 and the world word world? Uh, Revelation 3. And Revelation, Revelation 3, verse 10. Yep. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. You know? It's we know world. They don't know. It's world. It's right. world. John 3, 16 is cosmos. That's yep. a Greek word. Uh, Revelation uh, 3, 10 is oikomeni. So you ask the question, what's the difference between oikomeni and, 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 uh, cosmos. and cosmos? And why are they two and different eon. words? Eon. Eon. Why are they two different words, like you said? Right. Why are they two different Greek they words? They don't know. The Christians don't know. That's why every time they roll up, they get they get the spiritual ass beat. This is why the Apostle Paul said they have a zeal of, of God, but not according to what? Knowledge. You got to get the knowledge, man. You get the name of the Lord, then you get his true characteristics. <clears throat> yeah, he does love, but he also hates. Right. And there's a people he actually created to hate. Do our people know that? And those and people... And not one Edomite is going to make it. No, no, sir. No, absolutely not. Now one Edomite is not going to make it. Nope. Not one. And that they're going to go into slavery underneath this true people while we came into slavery? Right? We got to know that. That's in the scriptures. Um, I, I got, we got to know yeah. that Babylon the Great is America, and this is the great uh, altar. That's right. The altar, you have the spiritual man, the blessings. Absolutely. Then when he steps down, he's bringing fire. Yeah, yeah, bring the fire. It's America altar that's getting ready they're going, they're going to do a human sacrifice sacrifice and they had a movie called uh, the wicker man anybody ever see that movie yep. uh, that was a good movie with this guy uh, nicholas nicholas cage nicholas. 
<laughs> Nicholas. Which he is a Nicholas. Yeah, he's a chick. You know? yeah, he's a chick. Anyway, uh, they had these witches, Edomites, like they had two of them, two girls, and they were like, you know, went out with them and they were, had sex with them. They all come on up to the ranch with us. They were getting, and what they had to do was the wicker man was a big uh, giant man made out of wicker, and you had to sacrifice a man, a chicken, a goat, a pig, all these different animals, living things, and they put it all in there. They locked his ass in there and they just burnt him. He's like, yeah, yeah. And he just burns up, man. And that was a sacrifice to Satan. Yep. Yeah, look at that. And the Heavenly Father believes in human sacrifice. Did he not sacrifice his own live begotten son? It pleased him. And that was on the righteous side. Does our people know that? If you tell our people God believes in human sacrifice, you know that, right? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You are you <laughs> the, the, the most high, it, the man. most high told Abraham to sacrifice his own son. son. How you get around it? And what did Abraham do? He, let's he do, it. do it. Let's do it. You know? Yep. Which people. he did become sacrifice when he came back as that's how we know that Isaac came back as the, the Lord. Yep. Reincarnation is biblical. Go ahead, I uh, Jephthah, his, uh, his daughter, the Lord asked for his daughter, uh, Jephthah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, that's yeah, right. He made a foolish vow. That's, right. that's right. Yep, there you go. And his daughter had, his daughter had uh, character because his daughter said, look, uh, let me bewail my virginity for, for a period of time, yep. then I'll come back to you and you can sacrifice. Too much. Yep. I just read it recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So his daughter had character. Mm -hmm. I got a quick piece of yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High who has sundry times. Wait a minute. Does our people know that? That history? And let, let's go into the rape. <laughs> Does our people know about that? How rape was one way that you got a wife? How that's actually in the law? Come on, if man. you do that, you know, they, 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 they ain't gonna tell you, oh, yeah, I like your daughter, I'm gonna rape you. What you gonna do? You're gonna hide your daughter from this guy. You know? Do they know about Judges 24? How the Benjamin was always almost wiped out, and a, and the law was given. And ben the Most High told them when Benjamin was out of order, the wicked ass Benjamin. <laughs> wicked ass. And Benjamin was out of order. What did the Lord say? They went for counsel. The Lord said, "Go and fight him." Then they fought him, and he went back. The Lord said, "Go and fight him." And they fought so hard that they killed almost the whole. They, they killed the baby. Where, where was the babies? They were all dead. Yeah. They were killing babies. They were killing pregnant women. All the women were dead. All the men, all these bitches that know how to, they athletes and they can fight men and all that. Yeah. Them bitches back, go get in a time machine and go back there and see what you can do. They ain't gonna do a damn thing. <laughs> all, all, every last Benjaminite woman was killed off. Yeah. Yeah. Every last baby was killed off. Every yeah. son was killed off. The only one was left, what was it, 400 men? Yep. Yeah, 400, yep. And then the way they got wives was they had to rape them once. Yeah? Yep, there you go. It's part of our history. And like Apostle said, wicked ass Benjamin. I've been thinking about Benjamin. Benjamin means Banyam, the son of the right. Of his name. It should be Maybe son that's of the a misnomer. Son of the wrong. <laughs> Until they get right. Until they get right. <laughs> but that's all the tribes, but I've been thinking about I all know why Apostle said all that. Of us, all of us is yeah. wicked. I know why he said that, Benjamin, because I've been Benjamin thinking. Benjamin was so goddamn wicked. They, they were very they wicked. Were, they were in the uh, homosexuality, man. Yeah, sons yeah, of Bilal, yeah. yeah. Sons of Bilal. Benjamin, man. I think I'm Levi. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. The Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High who has sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, yes, yes. by whom also he made the worlds. Yeah, heir of all things. You can read about that in Philippians. Philippians 2, when Yahushua went back to the... Uh, Oh, you can read about that in Revelation, when Yahushai, uh, fifth chapter, when Yahushai went before the throne, got the book, and the angels praised him and all that. He was made heir of all things. That's right after his crucifixion. When the chariot came, Acts the first chapter, took him back to the heavens to receive his glory. Yeah, well, that's just why it says that we're joint heirs with him. Joint heirs. And we're going to receive the same, the same glory that Yahushai received. We're going to receive that. And we believe that by faith, brothers. Yeah, that's why we have to first be changed into his image Absolutely. before we can receive that glory. Yep. Can't receive all that heavenly glory in these corrupted no. lives. <laughs> no. Well, the Apostle Paul said that. Uh -huh. If I could bring it up real quick. 
since you said that. Man, we got great things coming to us, man. First uh, Corinthians 15. Huh. It says something to the effect, we don't know how, how we're going to be, but we know we should be right. just like it. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. He said, the Lord said, the thing you got to get it. Okay. The Lord said, the, uh, the things that I do, the spiritual power, you shall do it greater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is right here. It should have said that we are joint heirs with Yahweh Yep. That's right. First Corinthians 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this, if, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in, in, uh, in victory. Oh, death, keep reading. Um, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? You're not going to die. Superhuman. Go ahead. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Now, how can we die if we don't commit sin? Yeah, exactly. You die because of sin. Exactly. The wages of sin are death. death. Yeah. That's the payment. You committed sin, you're going to die. Oh, the wacky tacky Christian don't even know what sin is. If you ask him, look, according to the Bible, what is sin? Uh, it's anything if you do anything wrong. What do, you, what do you mean if you do? So what if I do something that's not of the law, right? Is it sin? The Apostle Paul said, if, if, where there is no law, there is no sin. So they got to get the accurate definition of sin. What is sin? First John 3 and 4, transgression of the law. That and, is sin. And when um, uh, Yahushai spoke about the law, he was talking about the law of Moses, right? Yep. Somebody get uh, Matthews 19, I believe it's 16, Matthew 1916, I think. What did he tell the, the, the woman caught up in the act of adultery? Mm -hmm. he, said, he, no said, he said, you are forgiven, go and sin no more. Right. We need to keep the laws. Yeah. yeah, basically, stop committing adultery. What is adultery? Sleeping, uh, uh, you married to a man and you sleeping with another man. Sleeping with a white woman. <laughs> that's, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut, cut. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But what is adultery? Uh, that's another thing. Our people don't know what adultery is, according to the Bible. You know, they got that saying, men cheat. Men can't cheat. The only way a man can cheat is if he has sex with another man. And that's wife. a black woman. That's why nobody wants your fucking black ass, man. A, a man is. And then what the, yeah. you know what a nigga woman do? She'll know that you're dealing with somebody. And then she'll deal with another another nigga just to get, get back, back at, at you. you. So you have no business getting you shit. Get with the Edomite woman or something. I'm tell you, brothers, man. Don't get with no motherfucking black woman. She ain't shit. Yeah, recently, what's her name? Megan Good split oh. with that simple minded nigga, uh, Devon Franklin. Now, he was on a show, and some black woman in the audience said to Megan Good, look, but now that you're a Christian, now you know you got to yeah. be doing the. You saw that video? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can't be dressing the way you're you dressing. Be, I, saw, I picked up a magazine and I saw you with your titties out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can then the simple. Oh, she's a Christian now. Yeah, yeah supposedly. Well, oh, okay, well, good. She's a Christian, right? She got divorced from the dude. She can, she got to be chased. She got she can't deal with no more men. And Christians do that bullshit all the time. They do it all the time. They get married Especially and divorced and commit adultery. The biggest whore house. On the planet is the fucking black church. Right. They were the biggest freaks out there, man. Not in Texas. Well, the Lord, to, to back up Pastor, the Lord called that, those churches harlot houses. Yeah. What was that Jeremiah 5 and 7? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, you assembling, as a matter of fact, let me see. Assembling the harlot houses. Yeah. So to back up what Elder Pastor said, that's, oh, that's, then, that's is real that the, Is that the same chapter where it said that thou hadest a forehead? forehead? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, dude. I got it right here, though. The book of Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. What's the main god they're worshiping now? Caesar Boger, man. Serapis Christus, right? So called white man Jesus, right? Sworn by them that are no gods. When I had set them to the full, they, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops. In the harlot houses. That's the harlot house, ha houses are these churches. By troops. 
Watch him on another, Sunday. Another big thing in these churches, yeah. the, the, the lead guy, the choir, is always a fact. Almost yeah. always. Yeah. I'll say all, I'll yeah. say all. You have a lot of homosexuality in the church, you got yep. a lot of adultery in the church. Yep. You know? Yeah, and then and you have a lot of uh, folly in the church. They got that something called praise break. Yeah, praise break. They play that, that stupid beat. Pop, pop, pop. And then you see people get out and all, all, you see all kind of demons jumping on. <laughs> and, and, the, and the stupidest church, what's the stupidest church of all? The Baptists. They're the biggest fucking dummies out there. They don't know any scriptures. No quote scriptures and won't know how to break them down. They'll just quote scriptures. They'll, you know, don't say Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. In Jesus' name, Jesus, I command the devil to come out of you. Got, and then they got a, the white man, Susan Bozier up there. Don't even know yeah. the history of the guy that's on the wall that fucking saw sure, sure Christ. Sure don't. So the Most High got to kill him. Well, we went into well earlier before y'all got here. We went into the Christmas thing. Everything that the Christians do is nothing but pe their rights that they pagan. keep are pagan all rights. pagan. Easter's pagan. Oh, Christmas yeah. pagan. Sunday's pagan, worshiping the sun god, which goes back to Egypt. So they're pagans. Yeah, they, their version of speaking in tongues is well, which, which they don't How do you understand that? that? Yeah, you what, what is that? First, what is that? First Corinthians 14? Yeah, I can yep. get it. First Corinthians 14. Yep. When you break it down, let's talk about if you speak in another language, you gotta have somebody interpret the language, man. Absolutely. If you don't speak, if, if they don't understand that language and, and there's no interpreter. You don't speak. Yeah, you know, then they'll say, well, it, I said it from my heart. It's the language of my heart. Yeah, well, where's the interpreter? Where the, where the <laughs> yeah, fuck no, is the interpreter? No. <laughs> the heart is deceitful of all, of all things, things right. and desperately wicked. Desperately Who can know it? Right, right. Is that not written? Yeah. Um, I got to hear from you, Apostle. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 1. Follow after charity. You know what? Start, start at the top. Start at the top. Start at the top. 1 Corinthians 14 and 1. <laughs> Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. What does it mean to prophesy? What we're doing right now. We're, we're going to the scriptures, mm -hmm. we're teaching you in the scriptures, but we're also telling you of things to come, right? right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, another language, speaketh not unto men, but unto the heavenly Father, for no man understandeth him. I'll be in now a lot of times when I do prayer, my prayer to myself, mm -hmm. I'd say it in the Hebrew. Right. Mostly in the Hebrew. Go yeah. ahead. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. That's that's he that prophesies. Mm -hmm. Prophesy means to teach you, to right. make you understand what's gonna come. Yep. And then comfort you. And then comfort you. Because you're going to be down in the spirit and this word is supposed to lift you up. Like that guy. I was thinking of killing myself. Yeah, ain't nobody going to follow that dude. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of... <laughs> and I said that these guys wasn't right, man. Eh? Oh, you called it. They were. I said to them guys, when they were going to the... Somebody, they would go to some box camp, then they would go to Iraq, then they would go to this camp. And that's disrespect right there. Yeah. If, if I know you coming around, like y'all, y'all come around and listen to me, and then two weeks later I see you out in the audience with the IUIC, <laughs> I'm going to say, look, brother, don't, right. don't come around no more. Yeah, that's disrespect. Yeah. Don't, don't come around no more, right? Yep. Um, he that speak of 1 Corinthians. And you might say, well, we still all come together in love. Where's the love, brother? <laughs> Where is the love? 1 Corinthians 14 and 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, mm. but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. I would that ye all speak with tongues. Now the word tongue there is languages, man. Right. In in those days, the, the, the three and the church is Israel. Yep, the church is Where's Israel. Where's that in the scripture? That's in uh, Acts seven. It speaks yeah. about the, the Israelites in the wilderness for the church. Yeah, and in those days you had three predominant languages. You had the Hebrew, you had the Greek. And you had the lack. You know how you can prove that? You go to John 19. When the plaque was put on the Howard Shai's cross, it was written in what? Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Okay, clearly it says that. So those are the main tongues that were being spoken back then. That's right. 
You know? See, we gotta explain. Yeah, you had people. Israelites that were speaking Hebrew if they were born yep. in Palestine. Yep. You had some Israelites that knew that they were Israelites, but they were living <coughs> in other lands. So when they came in three times of the year, they were speaking those tongues. They might speak a little Greek, a little basic Hebrew. Yeah. You know, and then you had Israelites that spoke Latin. Yeah, if an Israelite came here and go, he shot him out, Lula, love. you say, man, this guy needs an exorcism, man. Go get a, go get a priest so we can exorcise this guy. You got demons on you, man. But that's what you people do in these so-called churches, those hollered houses. Anyway, I'm reading on. It says, I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather ye prophesy. For great is he that prophesy. Yeah. For great is he that prophesied. Make sure they maintain the social distance, distancing too. I'm serious, brother. All right. We don't want none of these uh, Omicron pictures. All right. I'll, I'll. I would that ye, I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather ye prophesy. For great is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. So if you go eat Shatamalala, you yeah, better... you sound like a broken motorboat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the guy, yeah. you're man speaking in tongues. Yeah. Somebody's supposed to get up and say, well, where's the interpreter at, God damn yeah. it? Interpret what he just said. The churches are the biggest fucking joke out there, man. You know? We, we always say that. Yeah, I'm going to beat up one. I'm going to go to Bocas Trace 39. I'm going to beat him up. <laughs> I'm going to ask him about the... How do you how do you get three days out of Friday to Sunday? <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna get three days out of Yeah, that's why in every comedy movie they always got a scene where? In the church. Which way is up? They had the scene in the church. Right? Uh, uh, let's do it again, they had a scene in the church. Uh, and you got the most laughs out of the church scene. Yeah. <laughs> because the church is that's fodder for, for, for comedy, man. You know? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to read it again. 1 Corinthians 14 and 5. I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For great is he that prophesied that he that's, than he that speaketh with tongues, except the interpret. So let's put some understanding to that. Let's say back then you had a brother uh, speaking Greek. Now you got to interpret to a guy who speaks Hebrew, a fellow Israelite, right? You got one Israelite, he spoke Greek, right? He got to interpret what he said in Greek to the Israelite. You know, Why the was Paul's, uh, he said, I'm, uh, I'm a apostle to the Gentiles, therefore I magnify my office. Why did he say that? Because he was able to speak other languages. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them Israelites that were, that didn't know that they were Israelites, they were speaking Greek. You yeah. know? Yeah. So then those, you, yeah. those uh, mm -hmm. journeys, said he took three, actually he took five journeys, major journeys of three. Where was he going to? He's going to where Israelites and that didn't know that they were Israelites and teaching them that they were Israelites. Huh? Ye, ye were Gentiles carried away with these dumb idols. You know? By the way, uh, the forecast today was for 90% rain. It was supposed to rain all day today. You see, it ain't raining now. Why? Because the Lord went us out here teaching. And that goes back to Revelation. These have, uh, and then to uh, how's it go? Um, Roughly paraphrasing, have shut the rain in the day. These have power to shut the rain in the day yeah, of their prophecy. It was supposed to rain all day today. That was what they were calling for. And it ain't raining now. It hasn't rained for hours. So we could be out here to teach, man. So those guys that, oh, it's raining. We ain't going to go out there and speak. They ain't got no faith. But wait a minute. If it was raining, we'd still be out here. Yeah, we'll still be out here. We've been out here before. But them guys don't say, oh, it's raining. We ain't going to. Where's their faith level? They're not diligent. They're not, They're not diligent. They have no faith. Give diligence to make that call in an election short. You're looking for every excuse not to do this work. Yeah, excuses, yep. Hey, I was watching a video live stream last week. You know how many how many people hits on that video? Almost 7,000. On the, this, this one here? Last week. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 6,000 and change. Now check out what the Apostle Paul said, right? 1 Corinthians 14 and 5, I was just looking at it. Now brethren, who's he speaking to? He's speaking to Israelites, right? That's his brethren, right? Now brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what would that mean? Would the Apostle Paul come unto an Israelite? Hold on, hold on. Come on, man. 
the Apostle Paul, you just heard what the Apostle Tom said, he had the ability to speak Greek and he had the ability to speak Hebrew. So he could, you, you know, like he says here, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, let's say you got a Hebrew Israelite there, a brother that speaks Hebrew, and he's talking to a guy that speaks Greek. And the Hebrew Israelite guy, the guy that speaks Hebrew is looking at him talking to the guy that's speaking Greek and wondering, what is he saying? I wonder what he's saying. Now the Apostle Paul got to turn to the guy who speaks Hebrew and explain to him what he told the other Israelite that speak, that speak Greek. Explain them. That's edification. You know, we're bringing it down to how you have to picture how it would happen back then. And that's then. something that the church don't do. They don't picture anything. They, they stagnant. They're like stagnant water. They don't move. They don't do nothing. There's nothing can grow in that. Yeah. Like, look, okay, you two brothers, if I'm speaking to you and you only speak Hebrew, but I can speak Hebrew, I'm speaking to you in Hebrew, you only speak Greek, you're going to be looking at us conversing and wondering what the hell we're talking about. So now, common courtesy, I got to turn to you now, and because I can speak Greek like you and speak what I said to him in Hebrew. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's like uh, one time when they were uh, Spanish people here and uh, yep. also Ramla was speaking Spanish. Exactly, exactly. He, like, exactly. he ended up saying it in English. Exactly. And, to them. and guess exactly. what? We all get edified, yes. right? Because that, that's what it's all about, right? Edification. You had something, Pastor Ramla? No, no. Okay. Hey, these Christian, these clown ass Christians. I believe it's, I don't know if it's uh, Matthew 19. It, it speaks about, uh, they say, well, you can eat pork, you, know, you can eat anything you want. It's not what goes in, in into you that devout, defiles you. I mean, I know they don't say it's talking about you can eat pork or whatever. There's another precept where it says every, you can eat anything as long as it's blessed. Yeah. I forgot, I went through the, I forget the exact, you know, if I had the wording, I can bring it up. Right. So they'll use all the scriptures to say they can justify, oh, and then they use uh, uh, Acts 10. Acts 10. Peter, as in, first of all, Peter never ate pork or unclean animals, and um, he did, it went back up. It meant something else, it meant for Nates. Those were the Israelites that were unclean doctrines. Are you going to Matthew 19? I think it's in Matthew 19. Okay, because I'm not sure the one in Matthew 19. To, to get the understanding, for those of you out there that are new to this, what the Apostle Todd just said, those the were the Israelites. Those were the Israelites. Yep, those were the Israelites that, was, that were uh, worshiping the Gentiles and so worshiping unclean doctrines. Matthew. That's for 15? Yeah. Okay, I'm, my bad. Matthew 15 and 11. It had nothing to do with eating other animals. You want me to start at one? Uh, go right to the point. Okay. We ain't going to read the whole chapter, but if you think it... I'll start at, uh, start at 15. No, what, what, what verse? 11. 11? That's a lot. Uh, I'll start at, uh, 15. Yeah, start at 15. Seven. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying... Speak loud. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying... This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips. Talking to the Israelites. But their heart is far from me. We read that earlier. Hey, we read that scripture earlier. But Make sure the social distance, brother. Don't be hugging everybody. It says, but in vain do they worship me, teaching for- You're getting too close, Zach. You're getting too close, brother. You might give them that disease. It says, but in vain they, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth this defileth the man. Hey, somebody ought to tell them other fake-ass Israelites that they're teaching that fake-ass gospel that they teach. That's what defiles us, man, what comes out of us. So when you're teaching that John the Baptist fell out the truth, you're a fucking defiled, man. Oh, yeah. And every time, idle man. word that men shall speak, they shall give account there. What do you mean John the Baptist fell out the truth? How can you substantiate that in the scriptures? Yahweh Shai said that there's no greater prophet that ever lived. And you're going to make a statement like that? You just defile yourself, man. And you don't want to correct it? He ain't, to this very day, he ain't corrected. That's why you got to be careful. If you're going to come out here and teach, you better make sure you got the whole book right. Eat the roll. You can't go off on a jot 
I said, yeah, yeah, you can't go off on nothing when it comes to the scripture. That's it. So that's why you got to go through the scripture. Before you teach it, you got to study it. You got to talk. You got to have counsel. Yeah, the, the, the apostolic brings that out. The Lord told Ezekiel to eat that robe. Make sure you eat that robe. Then go speak unto the house of Israel. So if he ate it, that means he, he ate the bitter and the sweet. He was, he was fully nourished with that robe. He was ready to go and teach, right? So that applies to us, man. Read it again. Yep. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. This defileth the man. You think there's more to it? Um, then, ca keep reading, keep reading. All right. then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after thy, they heard thy, uh, this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted. Oh, by the way, what happened was this wicked style of Pharisees. They saw the disciples eat, and they didn't traditionally wash their hands. Right. So there's a little dirt. My, on, right. You know how you go home and eat, you don't wash your hands. You don't men do that. You don't just eat, you know? Yeah. You know, you're supposed to wash your hands and all that, but you say, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they did, man. Right. Yeah. Because they weren't classically trained, you know, to be like top teachers. Right. Or priests. Or inspired for that matter. Go ahead. Now, I jump to the 15th verse. Then Peter and... Uh, then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Yahweh Shai said, Are ye, are ye, Salaki, are ye also yet without understanding? He got mad. You know, he didn't say, like, like, you know, in that movie, Are ye without understanding? You know, he saw me doing Oh, man, he got mad when he said that. It said, Do ye, Go ahead, Do ye yet not understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly? And it's cast out into the drought. Yeah, you shit it out. So what do you mean by that? Right. Because them scribes are saying, you guys don't wash your hands traditionally. Right. So the Lord said, look, if you get a little dirt in you, it goes through your system and comes out. Right out, yeah. yeah. You know? And that's what it's talking about. I'm not talking about no unclean meat. We came from the dirt. Yeah, because they try to use that so you can eat pork or whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. It says, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come from, uh, forth from the heart and they defile the man there's what you say you teaching that the mark of the beast of sleep for a white woman that's coming from your heart that's the foul right? that makes you defile that makes anyone who says that and then you defile in the congregation what if they end up believing that shit? they're defiled that's why it's very important we got because yeah, they're going to wind up taking it because their lord and master said there's nothing wrong with it they ain't, you ain't breaking no laws you ain't committing no sin you ain't going against the most stuff. But once you take it, you condemn yourself. Yeah, like Nate, what Nate was saying. It's June! Ain't no microchip! Yeah, he's a clown. He's a fucking clown. Uh, <laughs> Revelation 15 and 1. What is a micro? It's a tracking. Uh, no, he said, uh, uh, how'd he say it? What the fuck did he say it? Basically, it's not the chip. It's some, how'd he say it? It was a device. I'm saying it's a GPS. GPS. Yeah, tracking, like a tracking track, device. Yeah, yeah. To track you wherever you go. As if that's good. Yeah, it is going to track you. It's going to track you. It's going to know how much money you went. You got out the bank, what you bought. If you got a pizza, they don't know if you got one pizza, two pizzas. You know? Go ahead. Uh, Revelation 15 and 1. And I, saw an, uh, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? Who shall not fear thee? And glorify thy name. If you fear the Lord, you're going to glorify his name. God. Well, you know they feared the Lord. First of all, they saw the missiles exploding, the wall of fire. Standing on the sea of glass, man, there was up above the firmament, looking down, Psalm 91. Only with they thine got, eyes. They gotten the victory over the beast, yeah. over the victory, victory over the image, and over the victory over the mark. Which is a karate. 
Hey, so if you take that no, chip, you're not going to get beamed up. Oh, point no. blank, period. You'll be in the fire. So you better be at a point where just kill me. Just kill me. Man, that's beautiful. So at the same time, the Lord is going to cause us to fear him and rejoice in him at the same time. Just by that one action of delivering us from certain fire. That's heavy, man. That's why they said, who shall not fear thee? They saw that destruction, man. It says, for thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. And for the all nations, I'm sorry, for all nations shall come and what? what, what read that uh, again. And worship before thee. Well, how's that going to happen? When Yahweh Hashem Yahushai set us up to administer the law, Isaiah the second chapter. For thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I, I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened, and the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of the Most High, who liveth forever and ever. Wrath of the Most High to destroy the system. White man system. Anyway, with that, yep. we're going to close. Let's say in Daniel 12, the day that the world has never seen. Right?